to my settings, start video transmission. We are on, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Wacko Faction and our wonderful worlds that we create with our minds. Um, I don't see... Oh, no, I do see it. You idiot. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's kill Greg, wow, guys. I am so excited. All right, I'm okay. ready. Um, so, welcome, everybody. Everybody. We're going to intro now because we're prepared. We're mm -hmm. going to give up on this, like, one... one. <laughs> Like two sessions in, but um, hi everyone, welcome to Wacko Covenant, season two, soft reboot. And right here, I'm gonna put in the theme um, song. Sorry. Right here, I'm gonna put in the theme song. Okay. But, and it's but, gonna um, and the intro don't, is don't gonna cut play. This conversation now. No, no, no. That's part of it. No, See, yeah. that's part of it. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. That's sort okay. of how content so, works. <laughs> and now comes, and then the theme song plays. Greg, you're a wee I'm quiet, it says. Let me turn you up. Let's play some adjustments. All right, keep me up, well, David Fikra. Go ahead. I fixed it. Fantastic. Oh, uh, shouldn't we be tweeting this out? Uh, does anyone have Twitter? Hey, then you have a Twitter, right? Yeah. You have lots of followers. I have, I have no followers. I shouldn't have one. Wait, have I have no actually has a Twitter. Oh, I'm signing into the Wack Affection Twitter. What's it called? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, was on, I was literally just on it. Um, Okay, then you go tweet about it. You are on tweet it? about it while we do oh, the I... intro. No, I mean... Oh, I have it. It's blackofactorgmail.com. You're logged in? Okay, tweet about it. No, I'm, I, I said I wasn't. Uh, I, log I, I, I'm oh. logged in. I have a... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the... Um, okay, I've got the password. I'm going to put it into Wacko General. Don't stream it, please. Uh, um, I won't stream it, don't uh, worry. Okay. Declan smells like the streets of Glasgow. Wait, how do you pronounce Glasgow. that word? How do you Americans pronounce that? I would say Glasgow. That's not like one of the hard ones. That's We would pronounce it Glasgow if it was in America, you know? Like, that's not like mm. us saying like, oh, that's how they say it. Like, that's just how that word is pronounced, I think. Maybe if you were from like the Midwest, you might go like Glasgow, but who is from the Midwest? Nobody, <laughs> in my opinion. What was that? Sorry, what was that? That was that Midlands accent there, Hayden. Glasgow. 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 Oh man. Oh, I'm going to Glasgow. No, see, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't flow with yeah. accent. That's like Northern Irish. No, no, no. I'm doing. That's Minnesota. That's Minnesota, Greg. Okay. Well, it sounds a bit Northern oh, Irish. Man. Okay. Apparently, I'm good now. Oh no. Okay. So, What's guys. We don't need to tweet it out. Just announce it. <laughs> announce it in the. I'll put it on the Instagram. Just do Sorry, the intro. I'm in my school Discord that I don't go to anymore. Uh, um, maybe. The email is wackofaction at gmail dot com. I closed it. God, you're an idiot. Let's get him, boys. What was that? Humor. This is a disaster. This is an unmitigated disaster. And we love it. <laughs> How's it going, my Daniel? What was the what's the confirmation code? I don't know. Where's it meant to be going? The Wacko Faction email? Yeah. I recently cleared all my browsing history, so I have to log back into everything. Why? Oh. Hey guys, we're gonna Why? do an intro. We're gonna do, do a the... professional intro. <laughs> and, then, and then 15 minutes later, after we find the Twitter. This is all part uh, of it. This is all this part of it. All this part of the plan. Is this is exactly how we drew it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, guys. I've got this. Uh, copy that. Paste that. Please go in. We should scale like a one password. Deal. Yeah, if if we get a one password, Daniel, you didn't add everyone, Daniel. Oh shit! It's like working with baboons. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait. Oh no! Actually, you just announced it while I was looking at the password. We don't need to tweet it. We don't need to tweet it. I know. Give I've got him for the female. Give me the code. Give me the code. <laughs> Oh my god, I just closed Gmail, Dude. you bastard. For some reason, my internet suddenly become rather slow. 
<sighs> you know, we don't need to announce it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, okay, so, I've got the code. But the email is an it? opening. Oh, I'm not code. telling you, because then all of you as well. Benny, will you piss off? How, how many times are you going to come in here? Hi, Benny. Hi, Benny. Hi, Benny. Benny, come in. Come here. Come here, come Benny. In. Come in. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come say hi. Come on, come on. Come and on, he's man. turned up his computer. He's left. Yeah. He's left. He's left. Yeah, I've sent you the code, Daniel. Now I'm going to start the session. You can do that while you're doing that. <clears throat> What's the code? That's the confirmation code that you wanted. Oh. Not the password. The confirmation code. So, Benny, you can come in here if you want. Yeah, you made that clear. <laughs> Just to get out. <laughs> well, I mean, that's because he was always standing there and wiggling his bum. Benny, would you like to come in? Okay, then go away. Is Benny with us? <laughs> Benny is Greg's. Uh, <laughs> no. No, no, I'm sorry. That's a that's a fish. <laughs> Alexa, play Gangnam Style. I don't think they could even hear you. <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> volume <laughs> ten. We Alexa, can't. play Gangnam Style. I think Gangnam Style. All right, guys, welcome back that to the back of fashion. Funny. Um, today's session, uh, one of our season two, sort of, we're doing like a soft reboot situation, uh, because we're unsatisfied with hey the guys, way we've been posting out of order. I am your game master. Our game master is Greg, Greg. he's right here, he's assaulting his brother. Hi. He says hi. <laughs> um, last time, we sort of, uh, well, we freed a city, you know, and we were invited, invited to a court, and we were forced to sort of, like, plead our case. As far as I can tell, we made it, although, you know, there's sort of iffy situations all around, and we were allowed to go wherever we wanted, so we went to Caltrop. And now uh, this is going to come as a surprise, but when we got to Caltrop, there was something waiting for us, and what was waiting for us was Leon? Was it Leon, or was it Gunslinger fella? Who got the knife to their throat? You're Leon? Leon. Leon, uh, I am our, our spellcaster of some type. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Wow, really? Sorcerer. Yeah. Um... <laughs> We appeared in an alleyway, and somebody was sitting there, and what are the odds? This guy knows Leon and says, I think that he was supposed to be dead. Squim, the whole time, is high on the fact that he just, like, argued us out of, presumably, life imprisonment. So he didn't notice most of this, but I think we're about to roll initiative. Now, let's go over, swing it to the Game Master to take us, take bye, us away, Benny. Greg. Everyone say bye to Benny. Bye, Benny. Bye, Benny. This is part of the professional intro, by the way. Um, okay, so. <coughs> Bless you. <clears throat> I hate it when I have to start with, um, talking. Because it always takes me a little while to get into it, but we'll do it. We'll What's do the it. alternative? Worry, yeah. Like, as in, like, talking as characters, you know. The alternative is starting in a I combat. See, Why don't you I have see. to do any role playing? Okay. <clears throat> As we zoom in on the town of Caltrop, you will see a young, bearded man holding a knife to your friend Leon's throat. You were just teleported from the capital city, so you're all a bit frazzled. But, through the hangover-like headache and dizziness, you hear the man hiss under his breath. You were meant to be dead. His tone indicating a familiarity with Leon. Um, oh god, he's gone. <laughs> Oh, no. Greg, your video's gone, if you don't know. Yeah, You've good. been killed by a throwing star. I, my camera changed around, one second. He's gone too soon. Alright, there we go. Um, sorry, Declan, what did you say you did? I put my pistol to his head. Um, so, to get to him... You can point it towards his head, but you can't actually put it against him unless yeah, you, like, uh, well, I'll, approach I'll him. His head. Okay. His head. He says... Ah. 
Um, Squim I'm... has not noticed this yet. <laughs> I... I'm... Squim is high as fuck. I'm just gonna cast... Put my hand up to his face and cast Produce Flame. I put your hand up to his face, oh. like to burn his face off. Is he like grabbing onto me or just the throat? What was that last part? Is he grabbing onto me? Is is it just that throat? Oh, it's um. Well, he's sort of. He's got his hand around your stomach, and then the other one is sorry. His arm, <laughs> hand around your stomach makes it sound a little romantic. Um, and then his arm is he's cradling. Uh, Holding a knife up to your throat. The other one, I mean. You know, he's got two arms. I'm just... Okay. Put that down now, and I put my hand next to his face. He knows I'm a spellcaster, I assume. Um, make me... Uh, buh, 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 an intimidation check with a plus two from Declan's gun. Hell yeah. Shit. Oh, oh yeah, it's bonfire, sorry. Plus two as well, so that's 18. Um, he sort of... pushes the knife deeper into your throat. Not, you know, not, not, not drawing blood, but it's just sort of, you know, you can feel the thin, cold edge um, push up against your Adam's apple, and he says, one more move, and he loses his head. I should be seeing that about you, but... I demoralize him. Just to kind of, I do an attempting glare, so it frightens him for a second. Okay, uh, I'll let you roll, and yeah, I'll let you, I'll say, yeah. You can roll me a sexy demoralized check, please. Which is just intimidation. Just an intimidation check, please. Oh, so much. Okay, that's a 30. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, um... Pushes further up against your throat before quickly doing a whoosh, 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 and pushing you away um, and also unhanding his, you know, unhanding himself from your body and pushes you forward. You sort of stumble for a second, but manage to balance yourself. This, this isn't right. Who are you? Who are you? You know Sorry, me. Sorry, one second. Hey, Squim. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you'd stuck out of it, so just... Oh, uh, Hayden, you're muted. <laughs> I dropped my sword. Have you been sword. talking this whole time? I haven't been talking. I've been oh, okay. uh, sitting here, but still. Um... You're not him, are you? Who are you? You know who I am. Really don't. Definitely aren't him then, are you? You're wearing a face covering. I can't see your face. Don't True. Don't recognize his voice. Yes. It was sort of like a check a while ago. It's the voice of Henry. Whoosh. Well, hail! Um, <laughs> no, um, you do recognize his voice as your old friend, Mr. Durham. Um, Colin? This town's gone to shit. And he turns on his heel and starts sprinting away. I'm probably gonna follow him. <laughs> Should we take him down or something? Uh, no, let's please don't kill him. Um, He's a good friend. You sure? If... <laughs> it's... Good point. 
<laughs> um, if anyone else would like to follow him, roll me an athletics or acrobatics check, please. Okay. Um, who's taking control of Sky? Oh yeah, who's taking control of Sky? I can do it. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, do me your best job accent there, Hayden. This might get better. Give me like three seconds. Just a fit in acrobatics. Oh, sexy. Man, swim. Hmm. Oh. I'm not even going to try. Um... <laughs> Fair enough. Um, uh, then you can take over Sky. I'll allow it, Hayden. Yippee! Uh, I don't have control, but whenever you get the chance. It doesn't really matter. Sky yeah. is not even chasing. I so. have the chance now. Um, Hayden is now an owner. Congratulations. Um, and then can you roll me an athletics or acrobatics check, please? And then I'll get to the thingamajig. Okay. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... You guys, on an average, manage to relatively keep up with each other. I'm not going to have you, you know, each have individual speeds and all that. But if you average it out with the 30 and the 10s, you know, you, you get an all right. You get like a 20 with like squims 23 as well. Um, but you run after him through the town and emerge uh, sort of... Um, you are in an alleyway, and as you run out past some rickety old houses, you emerge beside what appears to be a church. Um, right there, to be exact. I don't know why it put down a spell template, but, um... It does that whenever you that's find out something now. Uh huh, crazy. Um, that is, uh, where you emerge out. Um, you see a priest... Um, sort of giving giving sermons, and between the crowd, um, Colin is like trying to push his way through and running through. Could ev uh, could everybody roll me blind perception checks, please? Not your characters are blind, but you roll the perception check without knowing the result. It's the little eye on your character sheet. Um. While the, uh, while the rest of you sort of uh, find yourselves among all the hooded uh, sermon listeners as the priest is giving out her word of one of many holy gods, um, you see him squim. You see him uh, towards the end of the crowd trying to jot off into the, onto the main street and continue running. Um... You may do what you'd like. All right, give me one. I'm I'm chasing him. Uh, I'm chasing him so fast. With my best run. I'm so. Proud of him. Um, in that case, you may roll me another athletics and acrobatics check, it's and if the rest of you are following him, then you may make another set of rolls as well. Do we see Squam just running? Yeah, you would see oh. him and would be able to follow him. Okay, yeah, we're following after Squam now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the acrobatics from Squim, and then everyone else, Skya, can also roll. Squim, Leon, uh, Ryan has been rolling. You're rolling like a monster on these checks, and the moment you're um having to shoot, all hell is gonna break loose. Shoot a gun um, as a gunslinger. Yeah, it's just not. It's gonna be all threes. Um, but you guys run after Squim, who in turn is running after Colin. Um, and Squim, as you're sprinting after him, you can see as he's running along the main road, he's sort of trying to keep into a jog. Um, to sort of blend in a little more, rather than, you know, sprinting at full speed, which lets you catch up with him easier, but also makes him sort of more difficult to spot in the crowds of people sort of moving around. You notice, much like in the previous city, there is a somewhat high military presence here, 
Not as much as you might have thought originally, but it is still there. He um, sprints and darts into a uh, one of the bigger buildings around. Um, its sign, uh, it's clearly a commercial building, not a house. Its sign reading, The One-Eyed Trouser Snake, um, as the name of the place. From the outside, you can gather it's most likely a tavern of sorts. It's also got a smaller building attached to the side of it, um, which is called the the um, it's called the One-Eyed Eel. Um, and clearly, you know, they're sort of together. Um, so, uh, Squim, do you follow him in? Yeah, I do, but I want to look like chill about it. Like, I want to be cool about it, you know? Okay. Um, I won't have you roll for that, then the rest of you, you roll as you're rolling cool. along... What would be cool? I'm gonna, I, I said you're not going to have me roll to be cool about it. Oh, I see. No, you know, um, You can make a chill roll for me if you'd like. Okay. It's just a D, 2d100. Um, it's a very important roll. The rest of you sort of catch up to Squim. Um, uh, I think how it's... You're not very cool, Yeah, I'm pretty bummed about it. I think Orion will actually, like, put a cloak on or something and act like not looking, trying to find anyone. It's just walking into the tavern, just to... Hmm. Um, okay. Uh, actually, if everyone could just roll me sexy little stealth checks or society checks to try and sort of, you know, keep it low. What if you're not trying to keep it low? Then you don't need to. Awesome. But whoever's trying to sort of stay a little lower down, it's either stealth or society. And no different checks. Ah, oh, damn. Come on, man. <sighs> it. Interesting. Uh, Squim, are you just... You're, I, if you're trying to keep it low, you can roll me one of them as well. Right. Actually, deception would also work. If you have a higher in deception, you can roll that, Declan. Yes. Thank you. What about You're thievery? welcome, big buddy. Um... No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... Thievery doesn't quite work, unless you're trying to lockpicking your way into being chill. Uh, steal a kiss, whoa! Um, but you manage to, um, sort of keep it low. Leon is sort of marching behind you guys, with Sky, assumedly. Um... And but you two enter into a relatively large tavern. Um, it's got three floors, with the upper two floors um, being like sort of balconies. Like there's a big hole in the middle which goes down to the first floor. Um, a portal, overlooking even? everything, there's a, a yawning portal, um, perhaps. Well, I, as in they're balconies. There's not actually a hole in the ground. Um, the the everybody on the upper floor seems to be you know sort of drinking having fun looking down as are the people on the bottom floor but the bottom floor seems like uh the more common tavern while the upper floors seem to be a bit more sort of you know there's some gambling going on and this is just from a glance up but um as you enter in uh there is to the far left of the bottom floor a long uh bar um, area that sort of the whole building has a sort of circular air to it and the bar is a sort of crescent moon type of shape um, accommodating oh no Hayden fell over accommodating that <laughs> um, everybody roll me one more set of perception checks please blind perception perception checks Perception's. and then I'll stop having your roll Rolls of uh, rounds of checks. Okay, Leon, you see a individual cloaked much like the one that you saw previously. Um, sort of sitting down, um, hunched over, 
seemingly having already ordered a drink with extreme speed um, that you reckon is most likely Colin. Squim, on the other hand, also sees a similar individual. This one um, seemingly panting a bit more, a bit more frazzled and dazzled um, in the same cloak that you saw before. So, it's up to you guys. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna go take the up. lead. Should we split up and see? Who... Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll okay, go who's to the, going with... the one closer to me. Me and Sky have one closer to me. So... Okay. I'll go um... one, so, Leon um, is going to go. Leon and Orion, um, you guys head through and find yourselves at the table. Um, sitting there, the hunched over cloak figure doesn't seem to take notice of you, um, or try and, uh, speak to you at all. I put my pistol on the table. Nice little toy. Yes. Oh, Fine weapon. It is Colin's voice. Sorry to interrupt. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um... The, um, Hayden, you're muted. I don't know if that was... All right, okay, okay, cool. Um, the... What is it, a mini cannon? No, I, I like to call my... <clears throat> Reckoning. Very edgy. I like it. Um, Leon. Huh? Okay, I'll be right back. I need to help look for a hair tie. <laughs> uh, long story. How are you? I thought you died in the fireball blast. I thought you died. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of funny. Um, well, it seems both of us have had turns with luck. And you yeah. seem to have found an adventuring group so soon, so quickly. Sorry, that was my, uh, that was me playing music on my tankard. It's I. Mm, thank you. It's a... We became freedom fighters. We'd... It was a good agreement. Well, that's good for you. I've been, um... Trying my very hardest to not speak to anyone. Stay as low down as possible, you know? Not make any connections for the good of both of us. But I'm glad you found a group of people it's with a not... good agreement. We're not that public. Wait, wait. Then I'll show we're not myself. public. <laughs> we... What are you doing here? Find me. Oh wait, it's not as good. That's. I actually don't know why we're here to our character. I think we're like here to free Caltrop. You sort of just came here as Freedom Fighters being like, yeah, we're gonna, because it's a city divided in two, you were gonna be like, wow, we're gonna revide it, uh, what's the word, combine it um, into one again. Uh, that's about as far as your plans went. We're here to help. Mm. Altruism? Yeah. I guess. Just looking to save the day. No yeah. ulterior motives. No. Hmm. Um... He um pulls down his uh the sort of piece of fabric that was covering his mouth and you can see 
that as a matter of fact, first off, his upper lip is like scorched, the skin is gone, um, and it's just like uh, a red sort of of flesh. Um, obviously healed by now, but still pretty damning looking. On the other hand, his jaw is gone. Instead, um, attached with metallic bolts and with like this faint purplish energy um, sort of zapping through it is a golden um, metallic lower jaw that is somehow making the sound of a human speaking. Um... That's fucking sick, brother. <laughs> Thanks. It's very painful. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, used to it because well, I have the same thing as him, take like with the like the front lip. Oh, maybe we're twins, brother. No. Uh. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> the um, what's your group called? I'm going to need a moment. What are we called? We need a name. <laughs> no. <laughs> Scrim, what should we be called? Obviously, we're it's the cool us. fellas. <laughs> the best of them. The cool fellas. Scrim shouts from across the tavern. No, wait, give me one second. What's actually happening? What did I miss? Like, why are we saying what we're called? Um, Colin, who Leon has now walked up to and is speaking to, um, said, uh, asked them what their new group is. What's also, the, he's a little... What's the, what was the prison we were in called? Uh, Dark Wind Prison. What are the Dark Wind <laughs> for? The Dark Wind Dead. We're really the Dark Wind 3 plus 1, but we're the Dark Wind 4. Yeah. <laughs> The... Uh, uh, is that what you're saying, Daniel? I, sure. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Wait, what about Greg, though? Who? Like the literal the person, Greg? Okay. Like... I don't think. I don't think. I don't think I'm usually involved is in the Is Greg team, a member but... of the Wacko faction? Have we ever <laughs> philosophized about this? Um, <laughs> we oh. No, I'm sad. He should be, but at the same time, like, you know, who knows? Greg and the gang. Greg and the and Greg like, and the and the gaming Greg. boys. G Greg and the gamers. Oh yes, Greg and the gamers. Greg, Greg gamer. Um, Greg gamers. Well, I mean, it's not that important. Uh, your team name is more so a throwaway question. I didn't need you to explain it over such time. Um, Leon was actually just standing there, the cogs turning in his head, <laughs> trying to figure out a party name. Um, as Leon sits, cogs turning in his head, we're going to move over to Squim. So this is happening parallel to Leon and... Um, Orion talking to uh, Colin, the cloak figure. On there goes Daniel. Um, <laughs> so you guys, uh, sorry, well, yeah, you guys, Skya and the other one, um, walk up to. Oh my god, you're in a tavern! This is like RP. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Let me close my blinds real quick. Sorry, one second. You're trying to find the tavern. Wait, how do I ch Oh, that's how I did it. Alright, and I'm gonna get candle lighting on myself if I can. Okay. I downloaded the tavern picture and it just said no. Oh, it's a web P? No one wants a web P image. You have to add PNG to it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So, <laughs> this is <laughs> this doesn't quite fit, but it's the best I've got. Um, the... Cloaked figure is also much like Hayden. I can hear myself through your microphone all of a sudden. I'm not sure why. I just turned it um, down. All right, okay. Um, the cloak figure is smaller in nature to the Colin that you had met previously, but also appears to be playing five finger fillet. You know, the one where you stab yeah. your hand. Um, just on his own in one of the corners. Also very edgy. The same sort of emerald green cloak that Colin was wearing, however. Am I saying something? Like, is he saying something to me, or is he just doing that? No, no, no. He's okay. just he's just minding his business. All right. Uh, yeah. Give me like two seconds, and then I will be ready. All right, yeah, so I, I lean down while he's doing, like, his weird thing. Uh, and I go, mm -hmm. uh... Hey, excuse... Oh. Shit. Uh, you're not our guy. Oh, I am your guy, all right. He looks up. You see Guslav's face. <laughs> it's Guslav. This is so wonderful. I'm Guslav. Hey, Guslav, I miss you, man. I missed most of your time, actually. I was away, yeah, mentally. But but I loved it. <laughs> I loved it when you were there. Um, okay. That's me. <laughs> I've become very edgy recently. That's awesome, dude. New. You were pretty edgy then, too, though. That's not, like, new to me, at least. I am here to say... I am very What's disappointed up, in you. Today, I'm gonna show you what happened what to Biovertible? What happened to killing Gerard Sordé? The whole... Oh. I trusted you guys. Mm. They're gonna have my balls for this. I'm telling you, my whole balls. All yeah. three of them. We... My wife. My wife. We were busy? Is that a good... No, probably not. What are you doing in Caltrop now? It was That's an accident. My way. It was an accident You'd... that we got here. To be you use you use air taxi to get to Caltrop when you're meant to be in Bioverte? That make no sense. We didn't choose where we were going, you know? He just sort of took us. We were You think court. I was there yesterday? We were at court. They don't like us anymore. But no, we know. We've been trailing you ever since you started hanging out in flame cliffs with the old buddy, the orc. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we're going to play a game where you tell me how much you know so that I don't lie to you. Go ahead. How about you give me a truth first? All right. What's the question? Why the fuck are you on the other side of the covenant to where you're meant to be? To be honest with you, we kind of got off track, morally, and we've decided to free everybody from tyranny. That's the truth. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Free everybody from tyranny? Yeah, so like, you know, governments are, are generally kind of like tyrannical and do bad things. We stopped one and figured yeah. we might as well keep going. That first one was an accident. Swear to God. Swear to gods? Um, Swear to gods, yes. Yeah. What's the original group called? Like the like super first god? They have like a special Faction. name, right? The super... F Dude. There's the court of light, which are the gods of good. Um, Is there not like a special name for the gods in general? Uh, there's the gods. If you want to go further back, there's the twin titans. Twin titans. Wanna go so before All right, okay. swear to titans. <laughs> um swear to titans we were going to do your thing but then the city was bad and we got distracted that's just sort of how it went what are you not big man fang he's going to have my tits for this he's going to absolutely gut me you know i am bleeding here i need you to get me something 
Anything. Yeah. Did you're literally bleeding? Yeah. No, but no. Okay. But I will be soon. I will literally be bleeding. Right now I'm just metaphorically bleeding. Okay. Yeah, well whew. Damn, that sucks, bro. <laughs> After all I did for you, really. Damn that sucks, bro. Well no, what do, need? what do you need? What do you need? What do you need us to do? Fucking anything. Get me some money, an artifact, something so I can pay off these deep shit. Oh yeah, all right. Um, we have, I have like a little stage, and I hold hold it out to him. Would this do it? What a toy stage? <laughs> no, no, no. It gets no. bigger. It has magic in it. That's what they all say, my friend. That's what they all say. <laughs> what about what if I told you there was a city? No, that's nothing. I have a hun. I have. I only have 30 gold pieces, but I can give you like half of them. Would that help? Listen, you motherfucker. There is a vigilante in this city, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, no one really knows what he's called. Um, they say he's called the Feathered Vigilante. Um, okay. Sort of wears uh, these black feathers, cloak overhead. Um, very cool and edgy. However, we need him dead. He keeps beating up our men. He thinks he's some sort of rat man. He's no rat man. He's no rat man. No one is rat, rat man. Rat man is a fictional Rat man is, is his fictional own character. thing. Yeah, you're right. From the stories of the Of Wacko rat man faction. and the Wacko faction. Yeah, yes, exactly. yeah, my favorite storybooks. That's crazy. Yeah, and Those plays. Those are my favorite storybooks. Yep. You should go. We should go see it. We should go see it in Baiaverte sometimes. They have some great plays up there. That's awesome. And I'm, really, I'm hyped about the, that. The, yeah. the man. I wonder what that Vaco faction did though, because really, like, they're just sort of background characters. That man really is the big. He really is the big deal. You're right. I don't know why yeah. he's in his own name. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why the Vaco faction is in the name of his thing. You know, it's sort of like, like they're not even like. Yet, pre yet. Uh, yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah, they're not even like main characters. Um, I'm gonna be calling this vigilante the magpie because that's cooler than the feathered vigilante. Um, no, 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 feathered vigilante. I want him to have his own name, uh, or maybe Spider Man. We're gonna call him Spider Man. Um, uh, no spider specifically have feathers. Say he is freedom fighter. Um, wears black feather coat. Okay. Yeah. Um, you oh, see my okay. bit, right? Wait. Pulls out a knife. Are you the gods and feathered vigilante? You've been trailing me. I just got here. Come on, man. Why would oh, I wear yeah. different feathers? I've got my feathers. What's your name again? <laughs> what? I'm the feathered man. What is your name? No, like your name. Squim. This guy goes by Scrim. You just said you didn't know his name, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> well, no, not real name. Simply fake name. Yeah, a lot of us have those. Um, yes, like me. My name is not Guslav. That's a shame. How do we find him? Does he just show up to, like, crimes? Well, he looks awfully like that guy your friends are talking to. I must say. How do you know that? I thought he wore feathers and a hood all the time. Well, he's got that feathered coat on. On his chair, you see. Oh, he's not actually wearing it. I see. Yes. Okay. So you want me to kill him? Well, it might not be him. Who knows? Bit of mystery. <laughs> this is the best voice you did, for sure. <laughs> like, by a long shot. There's nothing else that's even decent. This is really good. Excuse me, Hayden? No, you do great <laughs> old man voices too. No. No. This stream's gone. Well, welcome back to Hayden playing Apex by himself. Um, oh, welcome back, Hayden. I'm here. Um, okay, well, let me get my stream fixed. You just full screen the stream instead of popping it out. It's the opposite of what I wanted. Uh, there we go. That should be working. All right. Um, no, your voices are great, Greg. I love them all. Um, Thanks. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll deal with them. Is there like a payment or is it just like I need to pay you back? 
Is it like... Well, you are a top of you are meant to do a job for me. Yeah, just like I owe you. All right, that's fair. Yeah, I can do that. Um, so how do we identify him? Is the coat... Like, like if I go over there and he says he's not the vigilante, obviously I can't trust him on that. Because that's exactly what you would say if you were the vigilante. So how do I sort of gain verification? What's the, what's the vibe? I mean, I'm not really the handbook here on torture and interrogation, Aww, but... Oh, you want me to torture him? Aww. Yes. Aww. Oh, I mean, if you can find it out some other way, sure, but torture is very effective. Yeah, I know. You know, sometimes I just pour water on man, and he just speak. Great. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, yeah. Yep. Well, keep it real, Gooselov. I'll be back with your identity and maybe a body. We'll see. Uh, I'll be in here. Don't worry. There's this very bootylicious barmaid I've been chatting up. Okay. Kia. Yeah. yeah. Feel lovely. She calls me Guts. Have you ever heard that before? Guts, short for Goose Life, that is so smart. That's incredible. Love. She's she's a genius. I'm so happy for you, Goose Love. Um, well, no. Yeah, okay, yeah. She is genius. I agree. Yeah, you agree. Good. Nice, work. nice moves. Brain the size of breasts, as they say. Down in... That's, that's what they say. Where in, I came from. That's what they say where you came from. All right. Yep. Well, I Which like was my up. mother. I came from my mother. She she said that. Your mother says weird things. Um, my mother, she told me, Guslav, when you meet a woman, I want her to be like me. Brains as big as breasts. Hi, Charles. Thank you so much. <laughs> Brains as big as breasts. <laughs> and, <laughs> and don't you settle for no small titted wench. You want big breasts. I hope that word is okay to stay on YouTube. Oh, well. Um... I think you're good. Um... Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, keep it real, Guslav. And this time, I'm not giving him time to get another word in. And I walk off. You <laughs> see <laughs> as it fades into as it the fades distance. Away, yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> Orion, Leon, and the other guy, Colin, have sat down. They've all ordered drinks, and Colin's going on like, Man, there was this time, right? You know, after I died and you died, I met this guy, and he was like, Ooh, I'm gonna bring you back to life. It was mad. You? Oh, you. Huh? I'm gonna bring you back. Was he saying I'm gonna bring you back to life, or I'm gonna bring you back to life? Oh, me. You didn't die. Wait, did you die? Mm hmm? You know, I've been going around searching out cults and stuff. Mm -hmm. Ever since our little run ins, I've not been the biggest fan of them. I've sort of. Is this taking place uh, during my conversation with Gooselaw? Yeah, it is. Alright, just making sure I'm not I'm supposed to like stumble in in like half a second. No, um, because, yeah, your conversation with Gustav took a good bit longer yeah, than yeah, this conversation. It adds up. Um, I, uh, have been investigating a group here. Um, I've only just arrived. All I know is there are cult dedicated to fiends. I'd love your help in doing a little bit of investigation. Um... And maybe some murder. I mean, if you're looking for something nice to do for the people, I'm sure killing an objectively evil cult of fiend worshippers would be okay. Um, just so you know, I've sort of cultivated a bit of a reputation. They call me the feathered vigilante around here. Um, so... I feel like the magpie would be their that, name. Or... Uh, don't call me the feathered vigilante, no. Call me Scrim. Um, what's the magpie? I don't even know what a magpie uh, it, no, is. No, it just sounds like a bad name, you know? Like... No, 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 it's the... I didn't make up the name. I don't... I, I never decided to go by that. I mm. They just saw a feather fall out of my pocket one time. I picked it up when I was on the street and I saw a pigeon. And left a feather, I picked it up. Next night, I'm out running and jumping, a feather falls out. Some little girl is like, Oh my god, is that the feathered vigilante? 
and then I'm like, hell yeah. This is like the first me. couple seasons of The Flash where everyone's, or really it's just the first season where they won't call him The Flash. Uh, and so they do they call know? him. Well, all the CW superhero shows do a bit where for the first season they won't call them by their actual name. So it's like, he's the hood. Well, he's, they call him the Crimson Streak or the Red Streak or something for a season of The Flash. Um, the Crimson Streak sounds like Bloody Diarrhea or something. Yeah, you know, it's rough. Like, it's a bad people. name. Um, mm. But anyways, yeah, that's that's all. That's all I got for you. That's the phase we're in right now where he's like, I'm the Feathered Vigilante. Yeah. It's like, come on, man. You can do better than that. <laughs> Um. What's the cult called? Do you know? Yeah. What is All it? I know is that it's weaved into the very fabric of this town. You know, quick history lesson. When the Gal Recorder invaded here, half the town, from Markovia, their reasoning was simple. That a cult dedicated to evil powers had taken over the town. Now, obviously, everyone thought, well, everyone outside of the Order thought that this was just sort of propaganda. It was just an invasion excuse, uh, much like current day events in a different universe. Um, however, as it turns out, there are actually cultists. I'm not sure how ingrained they are with the town's government, but maybe the Order are actually onto something. Now, I don't agree with their actions, their genocidal religious maniacs, but... Maybe they weren't completely wrong for once. And that's not me saying that in this alternate uh, contemporary future, they were right, that the invaders were right, and there were actually cultists in charge of the place, but, you know. Yeah. We're sort of, like, subverting the metaphor. Yeah, By bro. making them right uh, this time. Who are you? Hi, I'm Squim, and this is where I um, made it. Um, like your coat. I'm Scrim, thank you. I worked really hard on that. I noticed you've got a similar one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they call me the Feathered Vigilante. Yeah, they call they call me the Feathered Menace. What? And I'm a vigilante. No. Wait, you're the Feathered Menace? Ask me. Thought you were some guy up in Coinfields. Cornfields was the place where we did the one shot. Oh my god, I thought that took place after this. I never, We never really decided when that took place. Oh. No, no, but that's fine, that takes place before, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, that's me, I was, yeah, broke a guy out of prison, things went pretty poorly, we don't have to talk about how it ended, because I think I died, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, that was me, uh, I just sort of bounced that's around. That's me, I died as well. Oh, sick, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, well... I swear, the chicken here is great. The what? Bertha, could you get me some more chicken? Of course, dearie. Is Bertha, oh, Bertha the... Bertha is the... Bar barkeep or whatever? She is, in fact. However, not known to Gustav, she actually owns the whole place. She's a self-made businesswoman, not just Good a booty for her. Good for her. Yeah, exactly. Um, but... Um, she um she's an older halfling woman um to gustav's credit she is a little bootylicious however do you have a picture you're about to put up because i'll freak out she is oh my also God. um a strong independent businesswoman <sighs> um she's uh <laughs> i was <That> really <laughs> In my head, I was really thinking, should I use this image? Should I use this image? Was well, the only one that really fits, so I'm image. putting it into a oh, character. Yeah. You know, I don't know how I feel about sexy halflings, though, you know? It's like, a little bit. A... Yeah. Yeah. And her, and her feet, her hairy feet, you know? She not that look there's like anything a child, though, with... so that's big. That's huge. Because that's yeah, really I know. where the I other... draw the line as far as halflings go. You know, it's like, it gets The funky. other sexy halflings did all look like children. That's what so I'm saying. Thought, so, like, yeah. you're in a good spot with this one. Mm-hmm. And her big hairy feet, which her all halflings have. Feet, and I don't like. Have. I don't like that there's a race in fantasy that just has big hairy feet. I don't like feet. That's anyway. The hobbits. It just, when they're too widespread, it starts getting weird. 
Mm. When the yeah, Hobbits yeah, there's like you. six of them, it's like, all right, well, they have hairy feet. That's their thing. But when there's like a whole race of people, like spanning entire fantasy worlds and they all have hairy feet, like mm. Tolkien knew what he was doing and people did not realize mm. that hairy feet should not be as widespread. Her feet aren't I that agree. hairy though. They just look dirty. Yeah, but why is she walking around barefoot in her tavern? She needs to be up to hygiene regulations. Seriously. All right, I'm calling the goddamn health code people. That's Squid's question. Um... <laughs> no goose all uh, yes, never mind squim becomes a hygiene guy um anyway where was i oh yeah bertha says of course dearie oh i'll just get you the chicken right there you guys want anything chicken mm, the chicken sounds good chicken. do you guys do sprite? Sort of uh what now sorry do you guys do sierra mist excuse me Sorry, do you guys do 7-Up? Oh! You mean 6-Up. Oh. Uh, I do. Because it comes from the 6th province of the Covenant. Oh. Okay. Yep. That's and nice. it lifts you up. Oh. Do you have any? Oh yeah, sure. Everywhere has any. Uh, would you like the alcoholic or non-alcoholic version? Alcoholic, for sure. Okay, there's no non-alcoholic version. I just use it to sell to kids. Um, okay. How about uh, you, uh, handsome young man? She points to Orion. Just give me one of your hardest. There I could have told you that would have been his order. <laughs> <laughs> we, Let me uh, have this, please. Have some very solid bread. Two weeks old. <laughs> Feels like this shit is stale. Get it, guys. <laughs> you will not like this. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Fuck it, yeah, I'll take it. Alright, fantastic. And I'll get you a whiskey on the house. Um Well Good luck. Bye guys. By the way, if you want to support my daughter, she's in the building over. Um her business has been struggling a little recently. Uh but, you know, I want to, you know, What's keep her spirits up. World building. Uh, she's a general store. Oh. Are I they open right now? Stuff. Like, what time of day is it? Uh, yeah. They are open. And, uh, no, she's a general store, not a magic store. Magic stores. But you could oh. have magic in general stuff. Well, technically, magic stores are regulated by the covenant. Covenant. Um, but under she Article 17. Well, yes, but we are a law-abiding family here. Would you say this is a back to force conversation? God fucking damn it, dude. <laughs> yes, of course it's a back to force conversation! I would, yeah, I would call it a back to force conversation. Um, okay, I should let you guys know. At 12.40, I have to drive Joey to work. It's like 10 minutes away. Well, no, it's like 10 minutes total. It's like 6 minutes away, mm -hmm. so I should be able to go there and back. Anyways, I figured that's when we'll do like our bathroom break type vibe that we usually yeah, do. Yeah, that sounds good. When's that in uh, real time? Uh, like, how 20, far is that? 23 minutes from now. Okay, that's fine. That's Gucci. 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 I would say that would be the word I would use. Um. So, what are you doing there, Daniel? Are you doing your ability? I was just checking, but sure, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, you can. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know what she would be lying about. If she follows the law. All oh, right, I see. Um, what's the actual ability again? Uh, lie to me. Yeah, I know, but like, what does it do? Uh, let's me use my. I would use your deception if it's higher DC if it's higher, so my DC would be twenty one. Okay. Um. She doesn't appear to be lying, no. Hello, Joey. Hello. Daniel says hello. No, no, the mic's right here. It's always, you can hear you. <laughs> hello. Wow. That was the longest. The longest build up there. Hello, I've ever heard. <laughs> can I hear the dog? Okay, so. 
I love how it looks like you guys are just sitting in a tavern. It's so yeah, we're just hanging so out in a tavern. It's nice. Yeah, it's pleasant. Um. So, Bertha goes off, um, having taken your orders, um, and Colin goes, you know, Bertha's a good, good person. There's not many good people out about here. Oh my god, are those dogs having sex? No, Says they're Colin. fighting. They're not lesbians. Not yet. Um, so, uh... The, um... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Those dogs threw me off. Um... 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 Hold on. Now, these are the sorts of things we want to edit out. Um, I'll get right so on we... it. Don't even worry. <laughs> right now. Gonna edit it before we've even finished. Um... Jesus Christ, I've really lost my train of thought. Those those lesbian dogs. Oh, just those lesbian them. dogs, they screw shit. What were talking about? Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't. Yeah. There's not many genuinely good people in the Covenant. I'm sure all of you are absolute trash holes. Um, but Bertha, she's, uh, she's kind. Who's saying Doesn't this? Seem to have Colin. Everyone just loves Bertha, huh? Hmm? Berth Everyone just loves Bertha. No, 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 I heard you. I'm Colin, not Greg. Oh, God. Um, oh, no, Colin just happens to have the exact same voice as me. Yeah, I, I see that. Um, um, everyone just loves Bertha. She must be really great. Well, she's all right, yeah. Okay. Um, we should go to so, uh, the dogs are killing me, What I was going to say, says Colin. Hi, Colin. Sorry, I've been a bit temperamental. Ever since I died, my mood has been going up and down like a roller coaster. But I just wanted to say a person with no discernible flaws always has the deepest things to hide. What flaws is she hiding? Maybe membership to a sacrificial fiendish cult, maybe? Think Do you actually think this, or is this you theorizing because of your weird philosophy about good people? Well. Like, do you have evidence, or are you just, like, guessing? I'm, I'm just, it's sort of your guys' job to gather evidence. Oh, sorry, we weren't here for that. He uh, offered you guys up as my mates um, to find some stuff out about a cult that is somewhere in here. Oh, good, we're working with you. All right, I'm glad my teammates set that up. What, uh, you sound, uh, what's the word, sarcastic? No, I'm dead serious. What, what was happening with that other guy? Who was that? Oh, was we that... just had a little discussion, it's nothing. Nah, all right. Roll me a deception check. Would you say there's a back to forth conversation? <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would too, unfortunately. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, you um, want to make me look like an idiot in front of this guy too? You're like trying to catch me in a trap. I could just tell you. I could just be honest in a minute here. Sorry, gang. One second. Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna steal your wallet. My wallet? No, his. My wallet is up my bum. Mm. Like, there's okay. a wallet up there, or, like, you use it as your wallet? Both. <laughs> um, why is this not working? I just wanted to put a GIF as my background. Is that really so much to ask for? No, it's only PNGs, I think. I uh, add the extension .png. Nitro. That works Not if you have Discord faster. Nitro. Not if you have Discord Nitro. Oh, I'm doing it in NVIDIA Broadcast, that's why. Oh, right, I see. So, the <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, any questions about the whole assignment? I know I've sort of been a bit vague 
Mostly because I keep getting pushed off track, but you know. I mean, um, I don't think that's easy enough. Yeah. Do you have any ideas where to start, or do you just want us to do our thing? Well, as, as I said, Bertha, a little bit suspiciously, you know, has a lot of money, doesn't seem to have any problems, sort of just a bit too rounded all around. Uh, there's, I mean, you could always speak to the Margrave, that's the ruler of Caltrop. Um, he could know a thing or two. Um, though he is quite young, so maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's just an idiot. Who knows? However, um, there's who else is there? There's that strange man, Edwin, uh, of House Tresselar. He lives up on the old abandoned mansion on the hill. Uh, that's about it, really, that I can think of. Though, really. It could be. <clears throat> Anyone. Nice. So it's the old man in the keep, Bertha, and who was the... Wait, was it Edward? Old man in the mansion. Bertha. Manchun? And... <laughs> Manchun. And the Margrave, which is the ruler of this town. That's the noble title that rules this town. Well, where should we meet? Right here is okay. Um, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't get out much, so I'll probably be here most times of the day. This is my son. <laughs> He's joined me here, in the tavern. So, uh, I'm going to go gamble a little, but see you guys later. By the way, one last thing. This is the only tavern in the whole town that is still running, you know, with the whole military occupation of sorts. Um, so, you know, this is probably where you'd be getting... Is it not, like, super wind. busy? It's pretty busy, but Caltrop isn't that big. Um, and it's a relatively big tavern, so you're not, like, um, overrun. And also, turns out people aren't really in the tavern-going mood during its occupation. Benny, can you close the door, please? <laughs> Hurry up. This is why you never have children. Or at least is never more. Is this in character, more. or...? Sure, yeah, it's in character. It's Colin's yeah, job. I have it's a good. great story. Yesterday I was working. And this girl came up to me. And she said to me, Are you a boy or a girl? <clears throat> and I just said, oh, really? no, I'm a boy. And then she looked at me in the most surprised face. I said, Really? Like, don't you have a shaved... Not that women can't have shaved heads, but don't you have, like... Uh -huh. Not very traditionally feminine features. Uh huh. Maybe she just thought you were really pretty. That was flirting. She was so shocked after. <laughs> yeah, how old was this? Like, Ten. 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 I feel like you would know by now. <laughs> okay. What? Very like. You look like a woman. No. Like stereotypical. No. You oh, little feel bit. like a woman. No. How do you feel inside? I can't. So, pass. you guys uh, leave the tavern unless you have any other business to attend to within it. Um, what do you mm -hmm. guys think we should do? Should we like go after Beth? Should we investigate her first, like, or the man in the thing or the mark? Cool. I think we get a room and we go up in there and we have a little conversation. Yeah. Bertha? Well. Yes, that's me. Let's get a room. She uh, slaps over with her bare feet. 
Of course. I would love nothing more. I'm afraid we're a little booked up right now with the whole refugee thing, so I can only give you our nicer rooms, which would be a gold per night per uh, room. What if we help out your daughter with her troubles? That I think that should that could. What if we pay a gold no, you cheap to, bastard? You want, it's not that expensive. You want, me to, you want me to kick out some of the refugees so that no, you no. can stay you in a the nicer room? You have the nicer room, so like maybe we could knock off that price if we help you, Dot. I'm sorry, but I'm running a business here. Well, I think I have the money they are. I have, though, so I don't know if I can... Oh, wow, yes, I can. Yeah, we have money. Yeah, yeah. We got That's... money, man. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> I didn't realize you didn't actually know how much money you had. Yeah, I was thinking, like, why is he haggling this? We have a hundred gold each or something. <laughs> yeah, his money. We could put our silver together and deal with this, like... <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. That's three rooms. For the handsome young lads. Why do we need three rooms? Is it a better room? It's, um, there's only, I mean, it's a double bed per room, so if you don't mind sharing, you can have less. We can sleep with three, so. We'll all yeah. sleep together. In one bed? I'm, it's a double bed, yeah. not triple. Okay. Two lie this way. We need two, two rooms way. then. There's four of us. We'll each share a bed. Okay. If you say so. Nice. And the oh, madame wouldn't like her own room? Skaya says, I don't need a room, I just stand here. And then stands there. <laughs> I don't need a room, I just stand here. That's what she says. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> um, My room is not necessary. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Um... This is really... sorry. Um... Okay, well, that's fantastic. Uh, it's just... and she takes out two keys. Rooms 3B and 419. Are they anywhere near each other? Yes, they're right next to each other. You gotta work on that. Yeah, that's hmm? a real system. Nothing. We go to the rooms as fast as possible. I have very important information to share. Can you send the food over, please? What? Oh, the choice. chicken, of course. Yes. What do you want on your chicken? We have um, orange, oh. orange chicken. Can I get? Do you have anything else? Chicken. <laughs> With... Yes. What do you want on your chicken? We have orange chicken. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, I guess I'll have that. All right. With uh, orange syrup on it, we have southern fried from the south of the covenant. Um, northern fried. Little, little Is there a gameplay difference at all between these chickens? Yes, they all gave a different buff. Okay, I want Southern Fred. Buff. Oh. I'll take orange. <laughs> Fantastic. And you, Orion, whose name I now know? I just sort of the bread and the whiskey. You don't want the okay. special powers? You get the. Well, you, <laughs> you get the. You get the stomach cancer buff. Hell yeah! Um... I'm just down it. <laughs> So, you guys sprint up to your rooms and all sit around, eating, munching on your chicken, all happy-like. In, in a little circle. <laughs> yeah. Cross, Criss-cross applesauce, as they say. So what's your news? Alright, so, that other guy that I talked to was Guslav. He's not happy with us. Guslav? Who are you, what are you pointing at? <laughs> no, he's a dwarf. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were like, Gustav's in here with us. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, God, I thought I missed something really big. Uh, yeah, Gustav, Gustav. Um, so he... He... Okay. He's not happy that we didn't do his thing. You know. And he said we can make it up to him by killing a certain feathered vigilante that isn't me. So Colin isn't with you guys, correct? You didn't invite no, him No, we on. didn't. Okay. Um, so you guys offered to work for him. I should have gotten over there quicker. That's my bad. Um, I kept getting distracted. But in the meantime, 
we also have to kill him. Or we don't have um, to kill him. No. Um... Here's my idea. We fake his death. Because currently, Gustav doesn't seem to know his identity. <laughs> so we fake his death. We're clear of our deaths. We can get him a better name and a better costume that isn't just copying me. Um, I would posit the magpie. We get him blue feathers. That'd be cool. Nice. Um, something not as lame as the feathered whatever, because that's already my bet. Um, Greg's holding someone's hand. Um, yeah. I'm holding the universe in my hands. Oh no. That looks like a bottle of mustard. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been drinking. Sorry, Hayden, go on. Yeah, so I think we fake his death. We could bring his jacket back to Gooselove. Um, and be like, look, we got him. We couldn't get any of the rest of his body. We incinerated him, but we got his jacket. And then Gooselove yes, will be like, incinerated him. all right, cool. Well, good thing he's dead. Did you get his name? And we'll say... Uh, no, he died too fast. Should we? We should probably tell Colin about. Oh no, we definitely will. Well, the plan is that we explain yeah, this to we Colin. Probably need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that way we clear our debts. We're good. Colin gets a better name and a better costume, hmm. and also we can sort of help him on his way to be a, being a better vigilante. And then we can leave a good vigilante here. And you know what? That kind of goes towards our goal of like freeing everywhere. Hmm. That could be our way of freeing here. Is that we leave like good crime fighting. A, a liberty league of sorts um an injustice fighting league there's not a better word for it there's not a better word for those um mm, yeah. perhaps a revengers of sorts we could just leave Re a, revenge team. League. a revenge league we could leave a little team of fighters is what i'm saying they could help that could be sort of like part of our system you know mm -hmm. and they're all gonna have cool bird related names or something sort of as like an homage to the fact that i'm a feathered menace i think this is a great <laughs> idea guys um we're going to take break early, though, or at least I will, because Joey is waiting in the car, I guess. So I'll be back soon. Okay, says oh, Sky. Hand. See you guys in like 10 minutes, probably a little more, okay? Yeah. Sounds good. The stream's just going to stay up, so please, somebody entertain the people. Please. Okay. Guys, I'm unless you gonna... want me to just put on like a clip of me playing video games, I have. A... No, 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 no! Don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something really entertaining. Don't worry about All it. All right, sure thing. I'll be back. Oh, I see. One sec. Welcome to my cover of Wonderwall. Today is gonna be the day. The na 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 Cause baby, you're gonna be the one to save me. Oh baby, you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all, you're my wonder. Strikes? Sorry? Let's see how it's food for me. Strength. We can't. I'm not even. No, we can't. You're my. This is in Twitch. You're my wonder wall. Cause baby, baby, you're gonna be the one that saves me. Okay. Uh, what's next? What? What's something else? What's a talent of mine? I really can't do anything. All right, guys. I'm gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna tell a story. Um, no. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what's? Mm. I've never tried this with these. What are you doing? What are you doing with that poor Pikachu? Hang on. What are you? What is wrong with you? So excited. Oh my god, he can juggle! <laughs> wow. Uh, that was so good. Thank you. Oh, I can do this. <laughs> He's walking, he walked down the stairs. Um, okay, we need something. Um, okay, I'm gonna tell a story, okay? I'm gonna tell an official story set in the world of the Third Elton Covenant. In the Third Elton Covenant. Yes, Daniel. 
I'm gonna be in my backpack, it's so cute. Okay, fantastic. Well, I mean, I'm doing it for our viewers, not for you, but um, good luck. <clears throat> Once upon a time in a land long, long ago, there lived a young man. His name was Danielos the Ravager. He was known far and wide in his hometown of Pern East. Why, you may ask? Well, the reason is, is that he was a very handsome young man. So handsome, in fact, that no one could turn him away. Man, woman, orc, fiend, devil, angel, no one could resist his charms. Now, obviously, this let Danielos live a very easy life. Just charming whoever he came across and sleeping with them. Thus erasing any barrier of challenge in his life. Now, you may be wondering, Greg, sto I mean, Mr. Storyteller, why are you telling a story about someone who can't be challenged because he can just seduce everyone he comes across? Well, listen here, young child. One time, Danielos was out picking berries. Who knows why he was picking berries when he could just charm a shopkeeper to give, it, give him a free meal. But something about it soothed Danielos. Soothed him in a way that nothing else soothed him. So... He walks down to the, to, through the forest, through the thickened weed, and starts picking berries. Bloop! 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 He goes on for hours. Something is just so calming about this. He's always ready to pop, always itching for another bit of bootylicious meat, but this time... He was just serene. He was happy. He was in peace. Now, Danielis wasn't used to this emotion, and after a while, he almost fell asleep. But before him, a shining spike of light. And there stood a woman, more beautiful than he had ever seen, with long red hair, olive skin, and eyes the color of the sun. And she said to him, Danielos, I am Hayden, and I am here to give to you the greatest gift I could give anyone. A thousand berries. Now Danielos was a little bit shooketh by this. Mate, I could get a thousand berries anywhere, any day. Why would I want your berries? They are absolutely delicious. Daniel was not, sorry, Danielos was not going to have any of this. He had always gotten what he wanted. He didn't want a thousand berries. This was clearly some sort of fay in front of him. He needed her to give him something more, something special. So, he decided to turn on his... Seductive mode. Oh, uh, mate, are you from Tennessee? I don't know where that is, but you're the only ten I see. Hayden looked at him. Her eyes filling with rage. Are you trying to use your impeccable charms on me? Or will I let you know that I am the arch fay of love? And I gave you this gift at birth, but now I can see you have turned into a monster that just uses it for his own good rather than for the good of others. At that point, Danielos, quivering in fear, said, But, 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 mistress, what, how would I use it for good? I mean, it's an ability to seduce people. Surely I could only use it for myself. She said, No, Danielos, you could have helped the king. You could have given him an heir, so that the kingdom does not fall into chaos yet more. Danielos felt horrible, but it was too late. With one flick of her fingers, she sucked out the power of love from Danielos before he looked 
like Daniel. An ugly, vermin-like creature that could be loved by no one and certainly could not seduce even a piece of shit. So, he walked through the woods alone and afraid before he came across an old woman and she said, Oh, 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 oh Declan, I'm the old woman of the woods. What are you doing here, you ugly little runt? Daniela said, Oh, my dear old lady. Oh, I have lost the ability to seduce. I have lost the ability to be loved by anyone I desire. And I feel so, so alone. Never fear, young man. I have just the trick. A young maiden's kiss will give you back your dick. Wait, my penis is gone? Said Daniela, surprised in his voice. Uh, I could have sworn it was there before, but to his horror, he looked down. And yes, it was completely smooth like a baby's asshole. No! Shouted out Daniela. Not my dick! It's the last I had. The last bit of happiness. And so, he jumped off the nearest cliff and hung himself on a branch. Now, every Bad. day... Oh, now every day the ghost of Danielos haunts the Redberry Forest. What? And every day, he gets uglier and uglier. The end. The moral of that story is never use your attractiveness to get what you want. <laughs> I've been Jordan Peterson, and this is the Wacko Faction. Thank you for coming. Hayden's not back yet. <laughs> I just realised that we have level five is amazing, by the way, for my character. I yeah, level five is one of them big characters. Uh, one of the big characters, one of them big levels where you get good stuff. Excited, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I get you. What time are we finishing today? Who knows? Do you have a time you need to finish by? Um, I just realized I didn't like Hayden to go earlier. That's why we're doing it now earlier. Sorry, I just tuned out there. What did you say? I was the reason we started an hour earlier, okay? You're what now? We started an hour earlier. Oh, right, yes. Um, yeah, we'll probably stop off at. 10 most likely we might go like 10 to 20 minutes over time if it happens mm. if that's okay but um like most likely just 10 they said knowing that in fact they were going to go to bed together holding each other um okay guys we need something else we need something else to fill out this time hungarian rhapsody 2 isn't a thing it's not coming okay it's not going to happen. One of the main three members of Hungarian Rap City is currently in France, and no one knows what's happened to him. He could be anywhere, actually. He could be anywhere in Europe. He's just disappeared. He's gone off the grid. No one knows where he is. Hungarian Rap City 2 isn't happening. Declan, have you seen Hungarian Rap City 2? I mean, Hungarian Rap City 1? Yes. Oh, I'm so happy for you. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Was. Well, Sensational. Sensational. Fantastic. Thank you so much. The, the, the most praise anyone has ever given it. Ever. <laughs> In its entire existence. Declan. Mm. It's 
So guys, what sort of themes would you like to be uh, um, covered in the coming adventures? Like, as in like, is there any sort of adventure type you'd like to see? Maybe like, you know, pirates or cults or erotic literature? Just whatever whatever my, your mind can come up with. Really, I'm just desperately trying to, you know, talk for a bit. Um, but I am genuinely interested as well. I was going to make a survey about it, but, you know, I'm here now. It's always nice to have player input on what they might want in a campaign that they are playing in, if you get me. Every single niche and genre you can think of. Every single one, okay. Is there like a um, list of every genre ever? Have they? Probably on Wikipedia. It's uh, music genres. My brother is coming through the door again. Can we have a Hello, beating brother. up your younger brother? Wait, what? Oh no. How to uh, Benny, go away. What are you doing here? Jesus Hello, God. Benny. You don't know how to leave me alone, do you? Leave. No. Yes, I can. Come on, kill him. Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, play Gangnam Style. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Why you can? Does Benji watch the streams? Who? Benny. Benny. Did you just call him Bentu? Uh, Benji. Oh. Uh, um. Uh, no. no, no, of course he doesn't. He <laughs> respects himself a tiny bit. Huh? Um, Benji, come here. Benji, come here. I don't know why he's calling you Benji. Don't ask me. Benny, Ben, Ben. Ben, come here. He's gone ben. again. You pushed him away. He's crying. <laughs> Sorry. He's going. To, he 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 said he's going to kill himself because of you, because he called him Benji. That's really not you okay. That surprising lack of concern about that, <laughs> since it's your brother. Um, no, I I'd be glad. Oh. Don't tell him that. <laughs> Edward's telling the entirety of YouTube. Hayden says, "Start without me. I'm on my way." Well, I need to pee, so we're not starting without him. Um, I also need to download Total War Warhammer 3, because the one I downloaded doesn't actually have the bloody DLC I wanted, so I have to re-download the whole thing. It's just fantastic, isn't it, Daniel? Yes. Oh, no! Oh, no. Benny, Jesus Christ. Oh, he didn't actually open the door. He was just pushing against it. I'm not sure about that. Oh, go away. <laughs> you are the worst. Benny, come here. That felt very creepy saying. Yeah, it sure did. Was that, was that my pronunciation of it? or? Uh, I think it was just, Benny, come here. I think that was part of it, you know? How old are you, brother? <laughs> um, Benny, go away. Please. Benny, come here. Benny, come here. Benny, 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 come here. Come here. No, Benny. Benny. Run. How do I say this without being creepy? Daniel is a sex offender. Do, 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 do. Daniel is a sex offender. Speaking of that. Mm. Um, <laughs> No, no. Ben, who you piss off? Was... 
I was I was on Reddit on RPG Horror Stories, and one of the Alexa Volume Ten, Alexa Play Gang of Stuff. It's not working. Oh, he changed it, didn't he? He changed it to like a different. Anyway, I was on R R slash RPG Horror Stories. Then, um, one of the posts was, um, like, the bard in a group that did, like, they were fighting this thing, one of the people, one of the enemies grappled onto the, hello, one of the enemies grappled onto the thingy, onto the monster, and then the bard, this is RPG horse toys, by the way, and then the bard shouted and um, cast a suggestion and said, hey, let go of your friend and take off your shirt. So the DM was talking, was like, no, not you, you keep, you, I mean, you can if you want, like, or, so, then, so then, later on, the bard of that group posted on RPG Horse Toys, hey, my DM doesn't do the suggestion spell right, or, like, he, like, keeps nerfing it, because the DM didn't allow that thing to happen. Oh, lighter. Mm. That's terrifying seeing your dark face. <laughs> That's the fear. Unmute me. Somebody, the stream can hear me. Somebody in the chat. Here, get get in the yeah. comments. Complain in the chat. Oh Tell no, me. he's gone. Somebody. Oh, Hayden's muted. Oh, that's so sad. Hey Hayden, what's there we up? Go. I was begging the chat to let you know because they can still hear me even if I'm muted in Discord. Oh, that's so sad. The chat of one person. How was your trip, Hayden? It was good. I ran. You ran? I stubbed my toe really hard. Oh it was like no! This really... flip flops. It was unreal. It was insane. That sounds really bad, actually. Yeah, it was horrible. It sounds really bad. But I made it. I get you. Sometimes all you can do is make it, you know? Mm-hmm. All I can do is make it. And all Daniel can do is leave at the worst possible <laughs> times. I love Greg, and he loves me. Ba da ba da ba da ba 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 Did you even hear that? Daniel, our lead view vocalist has muted himself. Guys, your your range is quite limited. It's just bow. Guys, you need to you need to bow wow wow. Okay, now we can start. Okay, so, um, what were you guys doing again? <laughs> Singing. I don't know. So, Have you done anything since I left? No. Okay, we were just oh talking, yeah, you we were guys talking in the hotel room. room. Yeah. All right. You're still in the hotel room. I explained room. my plot, and then I think we just kind of have to decipher how to do it. You but want we to need call him. Up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go get Colin so we can discuss the plot with him because yeah. he's actually should be in on it. Okay, um, who's doing that? Are you all going Wait, down? or uh, Someone who, playing? like, was talking to him earlier should. I'm, like, we have a history. So yeah, 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 exactly. Right. Thanks. 
Okay. Um, uh, walk downstairs. Um, the the place is sort of filled up even more as it's sort of getting a little later. Um, and you cannot see Colin anywhere. Hmm. Would you like to Colin? make me a perception check? I would. Perception. Damn, bam. Huh. That was meant to be hidden? But I'll let you know. You do not see Colin anywhere. It's just him downstairs, right? Uh, yeah, out of the party. Yeah. Alright. I'll go back up, I guess. Okay. Hey, Colin? Oh. Um, no. So you've gone back up to the room, yeah? And he just told you he's not down there. Uh, was Guslav down there? Uh, I mean, you weren't looking out for him, but I'd say you did see the cloaked short figure that Hayden was talking to beforehand. Or at least one wearing the same cloak and of the same stature. Alright, I'm gonna go down and talk to Guslav then. Okay. Because I feel like um... now. Uh, going downstairs, you walk through, um, you sort of trip up a couple of patrons as the place is filling up, um, and you walk over to the table of Guslav, he's, uh, now talking to Bertha. Um, baby, are you an angel? Because, uh, you, uh, I want, I, and then you, you, you intercept, um, and Bertha leaves. <laughs> Hey, Gustav. Uh, you interrupted me. I'm so sorry, but it's important. Did you, you see did. where uh, your uh, your where, did you see where our mark went? You uh oh the vigilante guy. Yeah. You mean? Yeah. Um. Lift out. Um. City was going to take a bath. Don't know if that's some sort of code. Okay. Um. Sort of announced it to the whole room. Little strange. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back up, and I think I'm gonna tell everyone that we should head out onto the streets and look for a crime. And because I have to assume he's like on his watch, then you know he's like doing his thing. Yeah. What do we just randomly stab someone? Would he drop? Then just bring. Yeah, we could stage our own little crime. Yeah, we could. Oh, like one of us could punch the other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do that. You fire your gun in the air. Yeah. Yeah, let's go out. You fire your gun in the air. It's perfect. Yeah. So. Um. So. That's the plan. Yeah. Declan, are you going to fire your gun? Yes. <laughs> do I roll the attack? Uh, no. Uh, if you want to go downstairs and do a... As everybody crouches down to the ground, Bertha takes out a scimitar. Everybody, get down! This oh, is my I didn't mean, like, cabin. inside the bar. Zooming yeah, like, back. Outside. <laughs> you guys leave the tavern. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, uh, so as you guys are out on the street, do you then shoot off the gun? Yes. Yes. <gasps> Everybody gets down. Bertha runs out, scimitar in hand. <laughs> Get out! This is my tavern! Um. Wait, you're already out! What's the meaning of this? I thought we were friends! I saw a bird. It was large. <laughs> Don't That's... go winning around, you little cannon like that. You're scaring my clientele. I shoot again. Oh. Gods! <laughs> it, I, I wanted to get it. <laughs> you are fucking despicable. Squim's gone. And Squim you, left, by the way. Uh... Squim's on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you yeah. can be on the roof. <laughs> what are you doing later tonight? 
I'm going to be as far away from you as possible. As you uh. look after Bertha, not look after her as in like coochie coochie, but like, you know, look as she walks away. Um, you get <laughs> tackled to the ground. Um, could Actually, can you make me a reflex save, please? Yeah. Is that wrong? Uh, did I see um, this coming, Greg? Because I'm on the roof looking down. Uh, make me a blind perception check, please. From now on, I'm not going to say blind perception check, perception but all perception be checks blind, yeah. are blind. Um, unless I specifically say so. Um, you would have seen this coming, yes. Alright, um, I'm not going to help. Uh... But... Okay. Uh, you would have successfully uh, sidestepped out of the way, and he jumps onto the ground before wielding his sword, looking up at you and saying, What the f. You? What the oh, fuck yeah, you're here. You? Guys, we're here. he's here. He's here. He okay. sort of gets up a bit dusty. I put my pest away. You know, I was we're looking for you. I just left. I know, but we needed you. Yeah. I could have just called out my name or something. I know, but we've, we're kind of, you know. This what do you want? We need to fake your death. Listen, as someone who's already died, uh, okay. that no. sounds great. Hold that Sorry. thought, however. I just got a tip off Nicole. that there's something going on down in the bathhouse. Um, oh. Something me. related to the cult I've been following. So, I'd appreciate if you guys didn't do this. But in I'm fact, not, do I know where the bathhouse is? Uh, I mean, you haven't asked anyone where the bathhouse is, so you wouldn't okay. know. There's not like signs or like a big neon. You can right. just follow him. Then I'm just following him. When uh, well, yeah. There might be, but not. Then it's not nearby. Yeah. Listen, how about okay? I have some other shit to deal with. You guys go to the bathhouse, okay? Just investigate up on that. Make sure nothing wacky's going on. Wacky. I'm gonna do my thing, okay? Sound good? I'll pay you back. Stay away from the, stay away from the dwarf. There's about four hundred dwarves in this bloody town. What are you on about? Don't stay away from them. That's a bit racist. Anyway, no time. Go quick. It's uh, just down the main street, second alley, uh, Walter Alley. I just start running. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye bye. Um, and he starts running. He does I'm a couple commands and run. You're following him? Yeah. Sky is sticking with them, but I'm following him. Okay, interesting. Uh, assumedly, you're not trying to have him see that you're following him. I am him. not. As a matter of fact, I flipped my coat around. It's back into just like the green, uh, like camo vibe that it does. Camo, city camo, green. Um, can you roll me a sneaky, sneaky check? Uh, the other two, I'll, I'll do you guys first. Um, Skya and the other two. Um, you guys run around, um, for a little bit. Uh, and find yourselves in front of the bathhouse. Um, it's a sort of nice... Very nice building. Surprisingly nice for the town, which is, you know, like a classic medieval town. Um, it's sort of lit up from the outside by uh, floating uh, magical orbs. Um, and it's all around, like, very well kept um, for this sort of downtrodden, little bit stinky town. Um, there are no signs of, like, you know, shit going on. It's, it's still, there's people going in and out. Um, and there's no, like, you know, massive explosions happening. So it seems all right from the outside, but it's up to you guys what you I do. Like... I'd like to go in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as you guys go in, um, you are greeted by a, uh, sort of otherworldly looking figure. Uh, what you imagine the elves of old, because elves are all dead now, uh, might have looked like. Actually, you met an elf. Sorry, that's wrong. They're not all dead. Most of them are dead. Um, Does it look like him? No, it's a more sort of magical, Ooh. luminescent version. Um, you've never, none of you would have seen some 
thing like this. You can't put a finger on the ancestry or anything. And she says, Welcome to Primitus Bathhouse. How may I help you? <laughs> we aren't looking for mine cold. <laughs> <laughs> Your what? Sorry? Coldest time. <laughs> what my friend made to Bad say was, class. we are looking <laughs> relax. <laughs> You're looking for what, sorry? Honestly, I haven't understood any anything you guys have been saying. We are looking to have a relaxing time. Relaxerstein? <laughs> of the establishment. Ah, uh, that is what we're here for. You all clearly need a bath. Um, are you looking for the hot bath package or the speedy breezy package? Thank you, oh. got the hot. A hot bath. Okay, that'll be five gold pieces each. I put my five gold in. Mm -hmm. Uh, does Sky put five gold in? Ich möchte bitte ein heißes Bad. Ikmat, wait. Ich möchte bitte ein heißes Bad. Ikmat, bitte ein heißes Bad. Sorry, is that, uh... Oh, uh, what language is that? Here is dein God. Here is dein God. I hand the gold. Um... Well, uh... Kein problem. You can all enter, uh... Hope you don't mind a communal bath Danke. together. It, uh, really brings people together. How about this one over here? And she points directly behind her. Uh, there's sort of lovely pillows all around. Is this dark for you guys? I can't remember. Yeah, I did put on token vision. Whoopsies. Um, actually, no, you do. You get token vision. It's dark for you now, right? It's just black. Yeah. Vielen Dank. Es ist so schwer, wenn ich nicht mehr kann. Vielen Dank. Es ist so schwer, wenn ich nicht mehr kann. Und ich weiß, dass du schätzt, dass du respektvoll bist. This is the worst thing I've ever heard. That meant thank you. Well, it didn't, but that could have meant thank you so much. It's so hard and no one can understand me. I appreciate you being respectful. <laughs> wow. That's so beautiful. Um, okay, so. You guys sit around. She would have been sitting there. I need a um, Done of tokens for each of the NPCs, so she's just a small woman lying down on the desk. Um... But you guys, are you actually just having a bath, or are you staying well, on um, the desk? Um, <laughs> looking around for any, it's just anything suspicious. Uh, roll me, I'd say all three of you, roll me wow, perception checks, please. Which are blind, wow. they're blind perception checks. Hey, quick, quick, where are the bathroom? I look around for, like, bathroom specifically. And if it's, oh, like, you a can, hallway, uh... The water wow, cannot be dirty. It's got a blessing on it. You can just wow. pee right on it. Wow, what's for what a kleine Elfenfrau? <laughs> uh, uh, back to you. Um, what's uh, what's the issue? Do you need to do a number two? Wait, so you could shit in the. Well, I I was more so thinking of urination. There's an outhouse. Oh no, I have a massive like. It's fine, I'll hold it. Okay. Um. Das ist eine well, I hope you have a lovely Wanne. old time. Vielen Dank, Elfenfrau. Das ist eine schöne Wanne. Let me just look Vielen at the perception Dank. checks that you guys rolled. Skya, could you roll a perception check, please? Thank you, Elfenfrau. <laughs> Frau means girl, I elf think. Elfenfrau is think... elf woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at what I do. You are so good. Um, and that's a great success, obviously. Ob obviously. Um, you guys uh, look around, and Skya, you in particular, notice two guests 
on in the other fountain look a little bit cloaked and a little bit suspicious. A uh, lot of cloaks in this session. Um, these ones, they're wearing sort of matching cloaks and are just dipping their toes into the fountain, but they look a little, a little strange. And you reckon it's probably why the, like the notice was sent out because you know usually fully cloaked people don't go to the bathhouse um, with weird looks on their faces. Um, I mean, you know, call people prejudiced, but they they look a little strange, you know. Mm. Here's a picture of one of them. Wow. Hmm. That guy looks evil hmm. to me. Eh. Mm. He could just be an old man. What he's is actually, that? Like, he's actually right. bloody. <laughs> he's, not, he's not holding the bloody dagger. That's just part of the image. Um, but he is he's, he's having a little soak. I'm gonna cover my mouth cast message. Wait, do I have a message? Good question. Uh, yes, on all of us. Um, so, are we trying to be like friends with them and get more info, or should we? Just I hope we're not being friends with them. Guy? <laughs> no, but like, why are we listening to like the Tabernacle Choir? What's going on? <laughs> um, it's in the peaceful music. So I actually really it, like it. Um... Keep it going. This is so pleasant. Hmm. Sorry. Go on, you guys. But... Should we investigate the cult? Like, because I assume that part of the cult. We so think, we we think they are or aren't of the cult. I think they are. I want to try yeah. and overhear their conversation if they're having one. Roll me a deception, uh, perception, sorry, check. Is this blind? Yep. Always watching. Do you move closer at all, or are you just trying yeah, to. Yeah, I'm gonna like, I wanna, uh, which one is Sky? Sky is the druid. Sky um, is what is this like tub in the middle right here? That's a pillar. Okay. Um, is there any excuse then? I'm gonna go sit down in this chair. I'm gonna like lay out. Okay. There's some uh, magazines. Okay. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Magazines. Better idea. I'm going over to these books on the wall here, and I'm just like pretending okay. that I'm browsing. Those are the fashion magazines. So you overhear them, and you hear one of them say, "Oh." The vodka in this place tastes like piss. Yeah, I'm a much more of a Guinness fan myself. Yeah. God, it's good. I mean, gods, it's good to get my toes wiggled out here. Hopefully no one thinks these garbs are suspicious. Wouldn't want to have any people getting suspicious about our movings, would we? No, absolutely not. Especially with the order on our tails. What is the order? Right. Do I know what the order is? The Galric order is most likely what That's they're referring to. That's the people that are to. hunting the cult, correct? Yeah, and who are in control of the other side of the town, Should've not the side you're on. Shit. <laughs> You'd look at me, I can cast message. I go, um... Yeah, yeah, I look at you and I go, oh... Something like that, just a little whistle bird noise type thing. And then I message back to you, um... This is totally them. When I start shooting, you start shooting. Hell yeah. Sure. Alright. I'm still listening to them talk. Unless they, like, stopped when I whistled. Uh, Make me a performance or stealth check to try and quiet him down. <laughs> Wait. No chance Should I can like, use like, medicine? Talk to them first? No. Uh, I have already... Right, how long does message last? Is it a one-time thing? Uh, I can just keep casting it, but yeah. Alright, well, it's I... Alright, then I'm hitting you with the message back, and I'm saying... I hear them, I'm 100% certain they're in the cult. Um, yeah, but should we, like, try to, like, get get into the cult, get more information? Yeah, that's probably like, a good idea. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. These two, um, they get out of their bath. One of them, sort of... Oh, that was good, wasn't it? <sighs> well, back to business. And, uh go over to the lady and say you guys actually see this uh not skaya but leon and orion would see one of them takes out a bloody dagger and sort uh, of pokes it into her i feel stomach. like i would be keeping track uh, of that yeah I feel like, like i would not be looking away you know yeah, yeah. 
Like, he's not stabbing her, he's just sort of poking it and saying, Sorry, miss, you've uh, got to come with us. Yeah, they picked the wrong time to do that, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. walk over to the X. I feel like we should just kill Yeah, when you block the door, I'm getting my hands yeah. ready to just hit him with a chilling spray. Uh, they look around them and say, one of them says, uh, as you guys are moving around, Shit, these guys are more vigilant than we gave them credit for. Thought they were just idiotic, posh adventurers. The other one says, say, right. <laughs> uh, Roll me an attack roll. Um, are we all not? Right. Give it one second. All right. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, that's natural as well, so we get the critical Proper fumble. Brutal. Oh, no. Um... And you have a plus 16? <laughs> you would, there's no way you would have crit failed on anything but that one. Like, wait, 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 wait. Oh. What is it? Oh! Their AC is 17. So you would hit with a normal roll, a one puts it down a level, so it's actually just a normal failure, not a critical failure. Oh, so you don't uh, get the bumble effects. It has to be a crit uh, fail and a crit fail, is the idea? Yeah, I'm gonna say that, like, that as in, sense. like, a one. Um, but you, uh, yeah, so you let off the shot, <laughs> um, he dodges out of the way and says, no! <laughs> as uh, the other one uh, pushes down this like little capsule made of what looks like magma sort of lava and it um pushes out you guys are sort of uh hit with a f blinding flash of light as a massive creature appears in front of you all uh roll initiative please get myself so much um i really do that was hey at least <laughs> squim's not in danger huh hey uh what what kind of yeah, what rule is that again? Is it perception, uh, or what are we doing? Like, what would it be? In this event, would have just been perception, yeah. Right. I need some more milk for this. Heal back. <laughs> oh, Danny needs his own milk, innit? You're an interesting critter. Wait, no, not stealth. It's perception. <laughs> yeah, That's what I said. Him lucky it is. I don't know why it's... Uh, it rolled one for perception, actually. You got a 29 on the perception one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, if you look, cool. it rolled twice for some reason. Oh, yeah. 29. 29, that ties you with the guy. Um, I don't know what ties an initiative do in Pathfinder. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, one second. M, 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 M. The adversary goes first if it's tied. So unfortunately, Big Boy goes first. Really? Yup. Um, Daniel doesn't need to be here for now. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The creature goes. Booga, booga, booga! And is going to um, run towards Skya. Skya hasn't presented uh, any aggression yet. Skya is just a person in here. Have you not moved at all? Have you not? Like, I just moved turned in around and looked towards them. Okay. I started rubbing that's fair my enough. hands together, and uh, that's about it. Gonna run then to Leon, um, and is go actually. Gonna run up to Leon, and is just going to, uh... Grab at him with its jaws. Oh, that's a natural 20. Um, which is always a good start. Um, does a 34 hit? Yes. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, so that's a critical. Um, as it whoosh, with its jaws starts striking into you, you notice as it's striking into you, um, 
the same wounds it's affecting on your body, it's inflicting on itself, just on a lesser degree, um, as this sort of um, exchange of blood is happening. Um, sort of like gooey red tendrils. Um, so first off, that's uh, that's piercing damage, so uh, he gains a plus two circumstance bonus to attack rolls. That's just great. Um, and now we're going to roll us some critical damage. Oh that's 40. Oh. Plus... Um, Don't say plus. <laughs> plus four, which it also takes. So it takes four damage. Um, does Sky recognize this thing at all? I don't know what Sky's background is as far as like knowledge of the arcane and shit. She's she's a druid. Uh, don't know, let me see. What like would like a nature lore. check do anything for this guy? Uh, no, not nature. I, I don't have occultism, so never mind. Actually, Daniel, do you have a cultism law thing? I'm not sure. Oh, you have games law. Almost as useful. Um, okay, well then, no, you wouldn't be able to roll. You would have no idea what this is. Uh, so that was one action to move, one action to Jaws, and then is going to... Um, just try another strike at Leon with his claws this time. Thank That's a 13 to hit. Is that a na is that a cr whoops? Oh no, I just skipped oh, around. Just not nah, too, no. <laughs> nice. Um oh it's just yeah, it's just not a critical fail. Okay, so that's just a failure. Um and he runs up, try slashing in. This time you run out of the way, your blood still transferring between the two of you. A very gross scenario. And it lets out a, I'm going to kill you! The uh, big guy does? Uh, big guy does. Oh, big guy God. can speak. Oh no. Uh, that means he's smart. Orion. Go ahead. I am seeing my friend and absolutely... <laughs> is gonna step over here let me just move oh, yeah, oh sorry pause. the game was paused pause i'm gonna move up to the corner and then just put bill right into the guy okay go ahead and roll in the chair this music is too chill for this but i actually like it this way i like the oh idea yeah of, like, that's the... true. don't change it don't change it i like that like whatever the chill music spell was or like the speaker that is playing just kept going yeah yeah sure. It's still going. It's chill music. It's like in those movies when you don't hear the audio. It's just the chill music. Exactly. Um, that's a 35. Yes, that hits, as a matter of fact. Lovely. In, in, it's, a, it's a critical hit. Sorry. Oh, it's a critical Okay, I'll, I'll... Oh, Roll critical damage. Oh, okay, of course. Um, that's going to be 26 damage then on the first time. Jesus. Nice. Is there resistance? Nope, it doesn't. Okay, that's... A solid 26 damage. Oh, it was incredible. Um, I think I'm gonna go for my second attack now. Oh, apparently the target must succeed at a DC 21 save or be stunned. So, because you have oh, critical where? specialization, apparently. So, I'll roll that for you. Uh, not, not for you. Uh, just succeeds, unfortunately. So not stunned, but still pretty epic. Second attack. Twenty. Twenty, unfortunately, just doesn't hit. Um, okay. The second one, he go, he, you shoot it, and he grabs it in his teeth and clenches down and crushes the bullet. And then I'm going to reload for my next attack. Okay. Oh, reload. And that's that's all three. Yeah, that's that's all that. Okay, fantastic. Sky, your turn. Hi. Alright, um, Skya's been rubbing her hands. Skya, before all of this started, I, I had this this cool like visual of her rubbing her hands together, but instead of you know like you're heating them up, but instead of it heating up, the hands are like getting frosty and like freezing over. That's just like a mm. cool thing. Um, but it's not just a cool thing because I have spells, and they seem to all be cold related. So, um, two d four cold damage to creatures in an area. I actually think. I'm gonna try and prioritize killing the other guys. So, I it looks like I. Whoa, wait, wait. Do I have three second level spell slots with no spells in them? Oh yeah, she um keeps not 
putting in her spells. I don't know why. I thought she said she did. All right, then I'm just going to heighten Chilling Spray and use it on the two guys. Um, yeah, you can, uh, like, uh, after you, this turn, you can put in some spells and then Johanna can change them out if she wants. All right, yeah, I'll do that. Um, let's see, heighten damage. Okay, so it's going to be increased by 2d4, whatever the damage is here. Um, okay, so that's it's a 4D4. reflex save for... It's a 15 foot cone, so actually I have to run up on them a little bit. I okay, get like to right here, three. and I go boom, and I shoot a 15 foot cone towards. It's gonna, no, no, I'm shooting it towards the water, so it doesn't catch Elf Lady. Anyways. Okay. There we go. They have to roll a reflex save. Um, reflex. First one, the one closer to you fails, I believe, and then the one. Uh ooh, two ones on the two D four, that's a bit that's a bit depressing. Um second one succeeds, I believe. Okay. So what did the first one fail by? Uh not critical, just a normal failure. Alright, so full damage and a minus five foot status penalty to its speeds for two rounds. So that's basically okay. nothing. And then the uh, other guy... And actually, wait, the save is DC 19, so still not a crit fail. Um, yeah. And then the other guy is... 24. 24 is just a success. Half damage, yeah. Yeah, okay. So and that's 6 damage overall. Turn. So 14, and this guy's slower. I don't know how to show that. I'll do this. That technically means that he's in the air, but... but whatever, yeah. You get the idea. Um, oh, minus 10 feet. That's good. And where do I get um, spells from? Uh, go to your compendium. Go to, down to compendium browser, click spells, and then you can use all the filters on the side to oh, like... I see it, yep. Because you get primal spells, and then you can choose the yeah. level and stuff. Uh, make sure it's primal spells, though. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other one takes half damage as you let out a... <laughs> which just about catches the side of the hot bath. And sort of freezes a part of it, um, turning it a little slippy. Um, is that your turn then, Sky? Yeah, yeah, that's all. Dabalicious. Leon, your turn. Oh, 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 okay. Do I need to specify druid spells? Uh, I don't believe so. No, when I do, I it removes it. I think that would be exclusively like spells that only druids can take. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but it's quite, yeah, you should just have access to all primal spells. So, this door, did I see anyone, like, come in, in and out of it? Is yeah, it like, there were guests going in and out of it, but it's clearly locked, like, it's, uh, it's, oh, it's the locked. more VIP section. Okay, so that's not good. Yeah, you're a little, you're a little pushed in there. This book seems kind of OP. No, never mind. Uh, I might need to run. Heal up, then come back. Maybe. Mm, I get you, bro. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, actually. Hmm. Is the door behind us locked? Um, which one? No, uh, this one. Yes, that's locked. The one you came in in is not locked. Wait. Oh, wait, is this the entrance? Yeah, that's the entrance down there. That's the way to gotcha. some sort of VIP area. Alright. Oh, that's fine then. I'm going to look at him in the eyes, say some magic words, and I'm going to vanish. Okay. Uh, put that into chat for me, will you? I'm going to cast Time Jump. Time Jump? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, so I get two actions, as and baby. in those two actions, everyone is frozen. Interesting. So, what would you like to do with your two actions? 
Are we level five? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, Sky's to level four. Yeah. Whoopsies. Which is fine. I, I'm not going to change that. Yeah. That, that sounds like there's probably choices that would be made that shouldn't be. Hmm. I think she gets, yeah, new level spells. Do you guys want me to leave, heal, come back, or do you want me to stay in the room and do some more offensive things? Um, I would say stay in the room and fight. Like, do damage or whatever you can. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm going to run past this guy. Okay. Past these people to behind Orion. That would be to both of your time jump actions at that mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Then... So does that mean you get the other two? You still get your two actions yeah. of your turn? Because time is stopped? Fantastic. Okay. So you still have two actions spell. left. <laughs> like, I imagine Ave Maria playing as all this like chaos. Yeah. So you guys just see Van Leon just... Not, not like any magic, just like blink, and then he's gone, and then suddenly he's in the corner, <laughs> and he's just sonicked his way over there. Um, so what would you like to use the remaining two actions for? Um, I could blindness him. I could just cast a massive fireball in the room. Uh, you should cast a fireball. I, yeah. Also, Hayden, just so you know, Sky has special healing gloves. She can just use once a day to heal right. um, in her inventory, which are handy. Yeah, uh, that does sound handy. Little more handy than Squim's pocket stage, but you know, you never know. There's arguments. Uh, Daniel, do your thing. I'm, I'm, right, be I'm choppy. going to look at the massive creepy thing. Mm hmm. And cast Linus. Okay, uh, no. blindness, so this is turning on fortitude. Okay, um, ba 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 ba. Ooh, Jesus. On a critical failure, the target is blinded permanently. What? That's depressing. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Fortunately, that's a. Uh, not a critical it's, success, it's but it is a success, which means it's blinded until its next turn begins. Which oh, gives you guys oh. the gains, yeah. So it's not is, great. Could I thingy that? Because that was kind of my reason for uh, okay. going the uh, end of Yeah, I don't know. As long as you do your next thing quickly, because I just want to, yeah, you know. Um, in that case, I'm going to cast Horizon don't forget to... Thunder Spear. Yeah. Okay, don't forget to give back your um, spell slot. Actually, I'm going to cast a Sudden Bolt. Wait, that's fine. Yeah, a sudden bolt on the big guy. Okay. Uh, roll that or do whatever you need to do. Oh, oh that's a lot of a. Actually, actually, wait, sorry. Oh. Uh, no, I, 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 it's fine. Oh. Uh, that does. But since it's a basic, it takes half damage. Unless it has something like that. Woohoo! Uh, Jesus. Yep, okay. It takes half damage as you zap into it. Um... Oh, I hate you puny humans. You smell like fish. He's half-elf. He's a half-elf? He called us humans. He's a half-elf. Oh, I see. Maybe. Are you talking of... Was that a person you hit? Or was that the big monster guy that clearly it was, was a big monster. monster? Okay, just make... He's the big bungus. Um, okay. Uh, cultist turn. Gonna say, Ah! Come with us, miss! And is going to, um, attempt to grapple your one. Uh, with just a good old solid strength check. Wow, that's a seven. Now she's going to make a strength check. Wow, that's a 23. Um, he, he tries to grab her, but she slips out, sort of vanishing for a moment and reappearing in a puff of smoke. I am not going to fight in my bathhouse. Um, so that would have been one of his turns, and he's going to say, All right, then. 
um, and is going to launch, just run up to Skya with his second action, and with his last action, try and stab her. That's a 22 to hit, which does hit. Does, uh, yeah. Just doing base damage, so eight damage with a <laughs> slash across the stomach. Um, and that's been his turn. Next one is going to try grabbing her as well. Uh, gonna roll another strength check. Um, Jesus, these are not rolling well. Um, just gonna roll an athletics check. <laughs> Once again, banishes out of the way. Leave me alone! Um, and then this guy is going to try stabbing at her. Uh, with a 15 to hit, which is a critical failure. Um... And she just absolutely bazooms out of the way as he cannot even try hitting her. Um, so, that's his turn. That was helpful. This guy is going to say, Oh, you're all useless! And is going to... Hmm. It's going to produce his first action to move. Uh... There, exactly. Um, and then is going to use his remaining two actions to cast... Not cast. Use his breath weapon. Oh, God. So could everyone... Oh, no. In that circle, make me saves, please. Is that including his own teammate? Yep. Okay. What save is this? Reflex. Is it? Uh, reflex. Yeah. And what kind of breath are we looking at? Um. So the you see this like white hot energy go up his throat, sort of lighting it up as this like barrage of white hot flames just leaves his. Uh, mouth more so like a uh, like a sun blast than anything, um, and then she needs to make a reflex save. So there's fire. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> oh my god, man! Um, and then the cultist. Yes, it's fire, Daniel. Why do you ask? Ah, oh, I could I have resistance against some oh, Andy. So, um, well, lucky for you guys, you all fail, apart from her, who quadruple critically succeeds. Um, which means you each take... 28 fire damage. That's a problem. Uh, so I'm dying. And... Uh. Six damage. You also... Gain. Ooh, that's maximum! 12 persistent fire damage. That will which... kill Leon very quickly. Yeah. How In my research, you take it at the end of each of your turns. Every time you take it, you roll a DC 15 flat check to get rid of the fire. Um, or... What if you're down? Work when you're dying. I roll a DC... Sorry, the so the persistent damage doesn't it doesn't go onto you yet. I shouldn't have rolled that yet. So you don't take that. You only take it at the end of your turns. And um, also uh, you still just like it's it's more it's not really you putting it out. It's just it going out. It's so just like you're you can still the roll chance. the DC fifteen flat check if you're down. Uh, but I'm going to go. Are you down, Leon? Nice. Well, now you're blind the... and really unhappy in every way. Um, okay, the... but that has been its turn. Orion, your turn. I look at Leon and say, God damn it, and I... With my elixir life, I'm gonna put it down his throat. If I was you, okay. I would jump in the water. 
I would want to do this first. No, Jump no, definitely, definitely. To put the fire out. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah I get you. Um, okay. Uh, uh, b -b -b how much does Elixir of Fire do? Uh, like elixir of Life. Okay, uh, you can roll that then. And that's... Okay, so you regain 17 HP. And you lose the dying condition. Thank you. And then... I'm actually gonna keep it, because I feel like leaving Leon by himself in the car is not good, so I'm just gonna stay. Okay. Well, between yeah. now and um, the next time one of them can attack is Leon's turn. So he would I... also be able to go to the water on his turn. Also, I also just want to shoot two but times. Yeah, yeah. You should shoot. Leon, on your turn, you definitely should get in the water. You'll go down again mm -hmm. from the fire. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna... This guy is the worst here, so I'm gonna shoot him again. Okay. The other ones seem to be doing nothing, basically. Like, they're just yeah. They brought their little bottle of the big guy. Okay, so there you go, another, another critical hit. For 8 damage. Roll me some 60 critical damage. Damn. damage. <laughs> and then uh, do the 2 DC 21 damage. save. Succeeds once again, unfortunately, but... Um, he does still take the and 27 then... damage. He let another shot into his chest, yeah. a splatter of blood goes out. One more time. Okay, make me another attack roll. Less uh, good, but you you shoot out again. Um, this time it goes directly through the hole you had just shot in his chest, and you're like, good. "Damn!" Yeah. Yeah. My head is just too good. <laughs> yeah, it's too precise. Um, and then that will be your turn. You now take um, seven. Fire damage, and can you roll me just a d20, please? Try. That is just a success as the fire goes out on you. Um, so I you was on. <laughs> um, on the flames, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Skya, your turn. Skya. Actually, before Skya's turn, unless you want to take it, do you want to take it now? What? Well, I, no, no. What, what do you mean? Is it a good thing or a bad thing that's going to happen before Sky? Well, it's, uh, as you guys are fighting on, we see Squim. Squim <laughs> Skulking up. Um, would you... So... Oh, we as... cut... oh, I would like to do my turn before we cut over to Squim. I okay, think. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I see, okay, yes. So... Skya's hands are both, like, covered in ice now from what was mostly a botched move. Actually, I'll... Sorry, I'll cut at the end of this round. If right, that makes that sense. That makes sense, yeah, yeah. That way it's fair, yeah. Uh, she reaches her hand out... Or, she looks down and all the water... All the ice, you know, melts off of her hand and runs down her arm. And she reaches her hand out towards Big Fella and just squeezes. Um, and I hope this spell is allowed for me to use. Because it's cool as hell. Um, it's called Bone Shaker, and I... Uh, so, how many actions are you using for this I'm one? I'm going to use two. Two, okay. Mm, I'm going to use three. I'm going to use all three. It just means I can move him. Okay. Uh, I'm doing something, there's... fella. Okay. Fortitude save on the big fella? Yeah, he's totally going to pass it. Yeah. Uh, is it a crit success? Yes. Damn it. Mm -hmm. That's nothing. You're kidding. Even on three? Damn. Okay. Damn. I should have used that one a little bit. That's very sad. But I forgot you... his fortitude was good. Push it out and he goes, grr, grr. You don't think I've had my bones ripped out yet, you little shit. And, um, smokes a cigar. Um... Well, on the bright side, um, Squim will be here soon, guys. Mm. That's my turn, though. That's it. Those three actions. Leon? Uh, so, I need to jump to the water. Though I should put, I think I might cast the spell first. So... Remember, you need to get up as well as moving. Oh, oh yeah. I'll... I'll get up. Uh, 
I don't have any of those. Good. I can heal myself. Yeah. Stand up, heal. Uh, one action. Then. Ooh, nice. Heal. Then I'm going to run and jump into the yep. water. And how low is it? Can I, like, try stay down? Like, not like go down and come like back. Like underwater? Up, so yeah. Like drown yourself? Not like, not permanently. But like. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say you could. Um, you can go back prone in the same action and then you still have one action left. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Oh, that was all of them. Yeah. Okay, then that is going to be your turn. This guy is going to say, fuck this, and is going to try stabbing Skya. Ooh. Um, that's five, and he's gonna go. Oh, I'm really angry, and is going to do fanatical frenzy, which means, um, he he gets a lower AC, but also gets angrier. Um. That's gonna. Nope, actually, he can do another attack, so he's just gonna try stabbing Skyra again. 16 doesn't, doesn't hit. hit yeah. ah, damn my anger! You this suck. one is also gonna go angry. Um, and is going to. Say. And there's gonna. Uh, wait, there's no one for him to stab. Well, he no stabs one somebody. Who, <laughs> stabs the demon. No, he's gonna move down to Orion. Stabs, fails. Gonna try stabbing one more time. Bloody hell, this is shit. Oh, that's a critical failure. Oh well. Um. Meanwhile, we move over to little old Squim. In his happiness. You gotta change the music to something more foreboding. Following. As you are following Colin, you hear. Nope. You see him re enter the tavern he had just left. Not the tavern that we were in? Or the same one? Yeah, same tavern, right. but he just left it, and then he was like, I need to sort something. And then he goes straight back into the tavern he was just in. Alright. I'm not following him, and I'm watching through a window. Okay, uh, make me another perception check, please. Blind as a bat. Well, my perception's better than I leveled up at the time we've been gone. <laughs> wow, that's so handy. Um... I like this music, sorry. I like this just... too, this is very solid for you. Like, this fits the vibe exactly, I think. Um, so, the, uh, you look through the various, this building is quite a few windows, and you search through them, doing your best to follow the cloaked figure. Um, at one point he goes up and into your guys' room. Um where you were staying. You could see that he he talked to Bertha beforehand. Is there a window to our room? There is, yeah. Okay, I'm climbing up and I'm on a nearby rooftop, I think. So if possible, mm -hmm. I want to be like lined up with the window looking in. Yeah, you can... Yeah, uh, maybe roll me an acrobatics because it might be a little difficult to get exactly lined up. Mm, but you manage um, and perch yourself on a nearby balcony. Um, I hit my crossbow drawn, by the way. That's like the weapon that I have out right now. You see, he takes off his shirt, and while there is a rippling muscular body there, it is also burned to hell. Um, there is no skin on his chest, it is just flesh. And in the middle, a sort of... <laughs> Does it just change very quickly? Yeah. Um, it does something very different. This sort of red, hot, 
magma-like capsule that's beating like a heart. It isn't a heart, though, yeah, and it is I visible guess I can't really ask that, I wouldn't know. through his pulled, um, through his, like, chest that's sort of been pulled apart and mangled. Yeah. Um, and he gets down, squats down on his knees, and puts up his hands in what appears to be a sort of prayer, and he just sits there. One minute passes... Another one passes. Is he completely still, or is he, like, speaking? Like, what's happening? He... You see his mouth is moving a little bit. So he's probably murmuring. Mm -hmm. You see... The mirror that was standing behind him, that was reflecting him. Suddenly, the reflection moves and stands up. Something the actual Colin isn't doing. As the reflection turns around, it shows a mask. One half happy, the other half sad. Like those classic theater masks. With one step, it moves out of the mirror and places his hand on Colin's head. And they begin to speak. This one is wearing the exact same old green cloak that Colin is wearing, and Roll me another perception check, please. Alright, yeah, give me one second. This is to specifically see a fine detail. I'm trying to get it lined up so that I can... Uh... There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, blind perception. You see... Behind the mask, this creature has one eye. The other one appears to be so a black spot, um, a sort of endless hole, while the other one is a glinting crystal-like eye, almost exactly like the one in one of your possessions. I don't know which one is holding the eye, but one of you has the eye. I think it might be Leon. Um, he, the the figure places a hand on Colin's chin sort of lifts it up, um, takes out a knife, and just slowly pulls it down Colin's chin, drawing blood. Alright, I'm going in. Oh, Front door, or are you trying parkouring over? Um, let me check my inventory. I've got my trusty rope. Um, is there any sort of overhang off the roof I could throw my rope around like a lasso? No. Right. <laughs> I can't think of anything that would right. realistically hang then over. I'm, then I'm backing up as far as I can, and I'm taking a running dive towards the window with my sword out. Like, so that that will okay. bust instead of my body. Make me an acrobatics check, please. You sprint and run, jumping, smashing the window with your sword, the glass going everywhere. You see as shards of the glass um, puncture the cloak of the other figure. And as you sort of um, close your eyes and sort of brace for impact, you fall onto the ground, taking three piercing damage just from the shards. Um, and getting back up, you see the shards of glass are stuck into the cloak, which appears to be stuck into the wall, and there's no person underneath them. Um, and you see nothing of the mask. But Colin's still there? Colin's still there, standing there, going... What the fuck? Where did you come from? Where did he come from? What was that you were just doing, dude? Who? Okay. What do you remember? Uh, I, uh, came up here. Okay. I was looking for something to prove that Leon's real. Listen, I know I'm a bit paranoid, but... Alright, so do you remember the part where you got on your knees and you prayed and then a guy came out of the mirror? Sorry? Okay. 
I don't believe you, first of all. Is this a back and forth conversation? <laughs> uh, can I, what, what do I even Would check? Would you have the same ability? I don't. What do I roll to check if he's lying though? Like, like. Uh, perception as well. Blind, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Blind as hell. Um, sorry. Where is he? I'm going to be getting that ability as soon as possible. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll be more useful in the combat climbing one I have where I can fight while climbing. That's about as close combat as Combat climbing as is extremely useful. It'd be Don't cool as hell if I was a real swashbuckler on a ship and I could like climb the mast and fight off of it, but we're not on ships ever. He appears to be telling the truth, actually. He doesn't seem to have noticed anything. However, there is a slight hint of something yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, like he's probably he's not lying. telling the whole truth. Yeah, okay, well. All right, bud, listen. I have a plus one in occultism, so I don't know much. But what I do know is that I was just on that roof watching you. I've been trailing you for a bit ever since that whole thing went down because we're trying to fake your death. But clearly there's more at work here. Because when you came in here and got on your knees and did your little prayer thing, which you don't seem to remember... Okay, here's... Let me break it down. You came in to our room, and you got on your knees, and you began to mumble. And then I saw your reflection in the mirror stand up, come through the mirror to you, like, to your actual body, and start to, like, cut you with a knife that had a mask on, um, one half happy, one half sad. The eyes were... One eye was there, one eye was, like, all black. Um, also, your body's all burnt to shit. I don't know if that's normal, but that oh, yeah, that's fine. my body. All right, yeah, just that's checking. What I've if I break the no, 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 I don't know that. Um, but yeah, anyways, he was like cutting you, and then I dove through the window to try and save you because I'm the best hero. I would say probably the best feathered hero in the room. And why were you following me? Because we're trying to get your attention to fake your death. Because I want to get our debts repaid. The gun for my I... name is. Huh? Didn't I ask you to help me out? You asked them to help you out. I actually wasn't there for that. Your friends could be pounded for all you know. They tend to be. Um, <laughs> we'll get there. Don't worry. I have on good authority that we'll be there soon. Um, Listen. I know who you're describing. Okay? okay. Or what you're describing. What is but... it? Would you kill me if I said I couldn't tell you? I... Here's the thing. You're playing a dangerous game, because I have two options here. I can help you and fake your death so that I can pay off my debts, or I can just kill you to pay off my debts. Those are both options of mine. I don't want to kill you at all. I actually want to help you become a better superhero, because to be honest with you, your name is shit. It's bad. I kind of did the Feathered Menace thing and it's clunky, but it's like my thing. You can't also do that. So we're thinking we're going to get you like a different cloak that's blue and black and white, and you'll be the magpie. I think it's cool as hell. I'm giving me a headache. Yeah, I have that effect on people. Uh, regardless, um, we need to help you because you need... You, okay, no, okay. I came here to fake your death. That's not my goal anymore. I think probably you just are going to die, and we need to fight this cult, it seems because they're going to kill you with magic mirror stuff. So, you could tell me. I mean, why can't you tell me? Here we go. Give me a good reason why you can't tell me. Because they see everything. Oh my god. Yeah, then they're seeing this right now. I'm already fucked. You make a good point. Like, they're seeing this conversation. I already know too much for sure, right? I mean, there's no way their bar for, like, you know too much is just, like... But I'm not telling you anything. I don't care about your well-being. I'm talking about my own. They just did kill you, basically. They just- I, they would have killed you, um, so... I'm still alive. They saved my fucking life. They okay? did? Oh, I'm so dead. this is related to- Are you alive because of the cult and now you're trying to fight them? Because that feels like a messy situation. Nope. Okay. Nothing to do with the cult, oh, which really? is why it's an business. We're just here to oh. stop the cult. Alright, okay. well, then I don't actually care. Yeah, no, you know what? That was probably I like an offering just you were doing. I you guys. I don't need... This is just my own shit, okay? This is on the side. Okay, this yeah. Is... Then in the meantime, could we... Could you fake your death for us? I've already died once, so I don't see why not. I did, and it's not even actually your death as uh, Colin. It's your death as 
Squirm? What do they call you? That's just my name. Scrim. Scrim? Yeah. It's your death. Scrim, the other vigilante. We just fake the death of Scrim, and then we make you a different vigilante. I have an idea, um, but you can do whatever you want with it. It just has to be different, because I have to take your jacket and convince uh, Guslav that uh, we killed you. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Straight up, I just need your jacket right now, if you could give it to me. That's like the whole deal. That's actually all that needs to happen. Look, he ninja gives it to you, pulling it off and giving it to you in one fell swoop. And as you guys look at each other, love in both of your eyes, we're going to swap back to the combat. Alright. Um, uh, but we will get back to you at some point. Alright. Um, if, if that's all done, I'm just putting the jacket in my bag and going to hell, I figure would be okay. my... Going, going to hell? Like going to where y'all are, where the rest of the team is. Oh, to help. Sorry, I thought you just said I'm taking the jacket and going to hell. And I was wondering if that was a metaphor. I'll see you guys. I'll get out of here. <laughs> um, okay, now it's the big guy's turn. Um, time for some thing. Uh, sure, I'll just go with this. I don't know if it's any good, but... Okay, this guy's gonna say... Why did you summon me to fight these imbeciles? And is going to go over and start pounding Orion. <laughs> nice. Uh, um, first off, just a claw attack. It's a 28 to hit, which almost definitely hits. Yep. Um, Are these meant to be secret? Oh, they're not. Um, but I've already made the roll. So there's a 28 on you. Um, that's... Uh, 20, I'll unsecret it. How do I? Oh, wait, can I not? Oh, no, I can. There we go. It's unsecreted now. It's 20 damage against you. Um, oh, is this the second hit or the first hit? This is the first hit. Oh, 20 damage? Okay, cool. And then that's 5 damage against him as well out of that. I realize it already adds on the vicious damage, which. So your blood sort of transfuse it again, and he's going to try jawing you as well. That messes. That does miss. Um, and with his last action, he's going to say... Fuck! And he can't do anything like that, so he's just going to try hitting you one more time. This is infuriating! And is gonna try one more time with his multiple attack penalty yes. Ooh, that's not good um ah! and now it's your turn Orion. well bitch it's your turn i'm gonna i think i'm already reloaded i don't know have i reloaded uh, already you did i believe okay then so <laughs> strike one right to his mouth okay go ahead play three um, yep, yeah, that just hits. Roll me some damage, please, bestie. Ten damage, Ten damage you <laughs> up into his face. And then yeah. I would like to... Chip off one of his horns. Do intimidating glare. Okay, good luck with that. Um, could you put that into chat, please? Of course. Oh, yeah, intimidating glare? Yes, of course. Yeah. If you bring it up, I'm trying to bring it. Okay, there it is. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. That's yeah. Um, okay. May you roll me an intimidation check, please, versus his will DC, which Four. you actually. Actually, surpass somehow. Um, He's scared boy. <laughs> His will is that low. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, it's ten plus his will, and twenty-four is relatively high. But yeah, that's that seems relatively low. But anyway, he's frightened one, which means he gets a minus one to all checks, basically. While well, you can see Orion, and he says, "This world is f fucked." Um, and you should have one action left, Orion. Um, oh, I thought that was a action there. Yeah. That's just passive. Lovely. Um, hmm. I would just, um, could I just, um, do a, what is the clang pistol I can 
is the back of it. And there's like a bludgeon attack. Yeah, you can do that. Um, what do you roll for that? I'm trying to find it. I was thought so, but... Uh, I might be wrong. Let me check. Yeah, I think... It, yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna do a reload. As, uh, okay. Or, uh, you know, reload. <clears throat> okay, and then the turn goes to Skya. What would you like to do? It's me, Skya. All my spells have saves associated with them, and so I can't use them. Hmm, what oh. will I do? Um, no, I'm gonna hit the whole corner. Is that not... Oh, dang it. Okay, this guy next to me is not that hurt, probably. I can't, like, choose not to hit Orion, right? Okay, I'm gonna hit cast on this oh, just to I'm see the square that it's in. Now. Aiming sphere. So where are you putting the sphere? Well, I'm trying to see what kind of sphere sphere is it. It's just a circle. It's five foot, um, in one square. Oh, okay, then I'm putting it right on him. Uh, specifically this square. I don't know. His um, reflex is probably great. Has anyone used a reflex thing on him yet? Uh, yeah, I bet he succeeded. But that was basic, so he's got half damage. All right. Well, this one does no damage. If I do it, so. Whoa. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, well, it does no damage then. It's okay. No, it's. But, yeah, um, it with does... basic resex, it has. It's half. With what? Basic resex? <laughs> um, no, no, it specifies in oh, Flaming oh, Sphere. Creatures that succeed on their save take no damage. Oh, I see, it specifies. Oh, really? Yeah. That's wacky. Yeah, well, because um, they're getting out of the way of a literal physical circle, I think, is the uh -huh. idea. Instead of it being like a spray that you can kind of dodge. Anyways, uh, do I get multi attack penalty now if I use my long spear? No. Okay, I'm going to get this guy next It wasn't time. an attack, it was a save thing. Oh, you're mm. kidding. No. <laughs> oh. Not a critical failure, but you stab and he dodges out of the way. Alright, well, this guy's going to die. Uh, good luck, guys. <laughs> no, Sky's not gonna die. Sky's got full health, basically. But that's turn. Coming up, Leon. That's my turn, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I um, didn't ask, but it was your turn. Um, so I'm in the water just now. Yep. I would like to go up. <laughs> get up? Yes. Okay, you can get up. Are you still prone, or are you getting up fully? Wait, am I able to, like... Like, just would it be free action to pop my head up and maybe my arms? Yeah, no. no, you can just do that as a free action. I'd say right. I'm just gonna pop out, then cast. How badly does the big guy look? Um, he looks about he's below half health, so pretty, pretty bad, pretty bloody. Good bit below half health. Second level. Mm. Second In level. fact, he is at exactly one third health. Fun fact. Uh, second level. Reaction, I'm going to cast Horizon Thunder Sphere. Classic. This campaign should just be called Horizon Thunder Sphere. Oh, am I still prone? Like the, do I still? Have yeah, that? Um, you're still prone. So are we just pushing through for the four-hour session, guys? What did we do? Are we just pushing um, through for the four-hour session? Um, probably not. But we might go. I don't know if you guys are cool with like ten thirty or something. I'm good, with that. I'm good ten thirty. I'm good till. I'm Come good on. till whatever. I can do a four-hour session. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Come do. Back. Until 1 a.m. British time. Great idea, everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Leon. So, so uh, prone gives me a. Does that. Does that it shouldn't give you a downside too. for casting spells, does it? I mean, you can just get up with an action. Oh, right. Well, yeah. then you can just get up with an action before casting the spell. Oh, yeah, but it's a three action it's thing, yeah. right? I see. Uh, well, I mean, it's up to you. I cast that two actions, so first I okay. can get up. You are now RP Yeah. 
then I'm gonna do attack, hopefully. Should... Ooh. Should I roll? Should I do heal point? Yes, do it. Why not? <laughs> By the way, Scrim gets a hero point. Congratulations. Sick. What do hero points do again? I'll let you reroll, which is what Daniel's about to do with his hero point. Wait, what? What just happened? He coughs. You 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 clicked the thumbs up. I think accidentally. Oh. I thought it's re rolled and got critical. No, you can re roll though. No, oh, using hit points. <clears throat> That's two points better. Let <laughs> <laughs> out the and it it hits into his claws and he goes, ah, this is really sore, and it just. Doesn't do anything to him, unfortunately. Is it possible as a free action to just sink down? Or just put my head down? Uh, you can drop prone as a free action if you want. I'll do that. Okay. Um, you are now prone again. Uh, Cultist Swan. Gonna stab at Skya. Just gonna do these guys quick, because they do not mean anything. How do they keep rolling well? Who knows? But Skya takes Nikki it down there. Nikki such negligible damage that eventually I'm going to die from it. Critical hit on Orion. Using a natural 20, which means you are pierced. The target is clumsy too and can't use one of its hands. Fantastic. You can't use your left hand. Um, <laughs> you can't have well, if that actually means anything for you. And I don't know what being clumsy is, but I believe in you yes. to I figure to it out. My best. <laughs> Lol. Um, how okay. much damage is it? Um, oh yeah, need to roll critical damage. 14. Oh, I'm out. Oh, that's unlucky. You had 13 health. Well, you're now dying. What Congratulations. Like that's, that's great, yeah. Um, okay. Gonna say yes! Oh, I did something! Take a step with one action and use his last action to try and grab his that woman who's been evading them for all this time. We gotta get this fight in the streets so that she'll help. Um. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I just realised that I've been rolling out. So she gets oh. grabbed. Um, she is now g g g g grabbed. Um, however, he does he's not able to move her quite yet. Um, he needs to keep her grabbed until the next turn for that. So, big guy's turn. Gonna say, oh, I'm done with all you. He's gonna run over <clears throat> and smash Leon with his jaws. Oh. Is that way? Is that critical? Not a critical. Yep. No, wait, yes, it is. Damn. That's an evil jaw attack. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm down. Okay. And you also, you take extra damage, but you don't actually take it, but, uh... Am I in the water? I am. Uh, you, wo you won't start drowning for a while. Especially in combat terms. And he also takes... Four damage. Uh, that was he technically moved Did he there. Did he affected then... by the water though? What's affected by the water? Did the demon? Well, he took a step in, grabbed you up in his jaw, and then like took Did a step out. Hurt him. So when he stepped in, I should it? Like a fire elemental. I feel like it's like I don't. water or something. Oh no, it doesn't, no. He, it did he's fire. fire. He is he does do fire, but he's not like a fire element or anything. Ah. Um however he can't actually hit anyone else apart from maybe Orion. Um or Leon again, if he really wants to. Um because he can't on. get to fire in time. Wait, are the jaws ten feet? Oh they are ten feet. Okay, he didn't move then, he just jawed you. And then he's going to use his second action to move, and then is going to claw at 
Skya. It's a 23 to hit. It does hit, but it's not a critical. Are we gonna have a team Nine team? Oh my god. Alright, so he's at one third health. That's at least. Are we gonna have a TPK? <laughs> <laughs> Not totally. It was going quite well for you guys. I was really, I was really proud of I know, you. I mean, it was. What it was happened? It was very low. What happened? I don't know, man. Don't know. Suddenly, out of the mist, Squim appears and rolls initiative. All right, Squim, roll initiative. Wait, wait, wait. Is it perception initiative? Uh, for you, it can be stealth. Alright. If you want. Yeah, I'm going to. What did I get just now? 22. Where does that put me? Uh, me... Relatively high up. It actually uh, there's only... Like sky on me. Yeah. That does, does that mean it would be my turn right now? Well, they have to roll their death saves, but yeah. Okay. Then I'll just do that. Oh, well, technically, uh, shouldn't we be behind the, the guy? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, the yeah and you are behind the guy, but yeah, there you go. Okay, Orion, roll your death save. Remember how to roll it? I sure yeah. do. I remember. This song is like the Whack Affection Covenant. Like. Yeah, I know. It's the one we always uh, get. Okay. It plays every time. Your dying is increased by one. Uh oh. Skya, roll a recovery check, please. The sky down. Yup. Which is why I said Squim arrives. How because do otherwise. You roll it... A recovery check. Uh, top left on the character sheet beside the dying value, oh, just it, yeah. under temporary HP. Okay, hey. that's another one. This is good. Leon. You can't do three in a row. <sighs> can't. Okay. <laughs> Ian is on two dying. Squim, it's Wait, now you your the... turn. Squim, but are you just got to hire a new team. Literally, <laughs> or just <laughs> boom, kicks open. And Squim, you just need to Squim kill standing big there all badass, and then he realizes, oh shit, things are going poorly. <laughs> um, yeah. So Skya has those gloves, right? Yeah. Are those on? Are they on? Like... Okay, are, like, is she wearing them? Oh, um, probably yes. She would be currently wearing them. However, she is attuned to them. That's what okay, so they're not, like, the kind of thing that I can use. Okay, and is there any way... That you can... <sighs> Do you have a healing potion? Because I know there are some healing potions. Oh, no. I did. I did. Are you feeling spells? Oh, I don't have a spell no. at all. Huh. He doesn't have a single spell. You have a pocket stage. <laughs> I have a pocket stage. Um, any chance our good friend Colin came with me? I wasn't there for the conversation that where I decided to come. Uh, roll me a diplomacy check if you want to convince him to come. Yeah, that's the... Alright. Uh, running that, running that. DC's lowered because you were like... Oh, Let's... oh yeah, oh, yeah. 19... Let me just roll a... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a secret roll on purpose. Uh... Behind Squim stands Colin. Does Colin have spells? Uh, you will find out. Alright. I guess we don't know his spot in the initiative, huh? And he rolled a 33 on his initiative. He can go first. Oh, well, he can't. Why not? He's going to... He was oh, trailing he's... behind you. Oh, true, but he... true, true, true. it's only the two cultists going, and right. then... And then him. him. Alright, so basically so... he's just going next, yeah. And administer first aid doesn't get people up, right? I don't think so. Also, you don't have a first aid kit, or... Anything that I can be I, used. Do I not have healers tools on me? Oh. You might. I mean, you I, might, I, but I, I. I thought I did. Oh no. Um. All right. Well, that's fine. I, I see cultist in front of me. He looks bad. I see big guy. He looks really bad. 
Mm. Um, I go straight for the big guy. Uh, I'm going to assume diving through the window gave me panache. Cause sure. It's cool. That's like how it's supposed to work. Um, yeah, yeah, and you, I just start going crazy on this guy with my sword. Okay. 19, does that hit? Oh, so close. No, unfortunately. Alright, well that's too bad because I'm re-rolling it. Um, okay. How do I, is it the up, is it the thumbs up one? No, you just roll no, it. No, those cards. There's no, there's no right. actual hey, you the roll, I think. hey, it was worse. Ah, that hits! <laughs> oh, it wasn't quite worse. Okay, so damage. 13, um, not horrible. Ooh. Okay, um, you stab into him. He is hurting big time, baby. All right, I'm going for it again. Okay, roll, 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 roll that dice. Dude. 18 doesn't hit, I'm afraid. I'm re-rolling it, Greg! Hey, you get two hero points in it. Woo! Yes! That's how we do it, baby. Do I click damage and then critical, or do I just hit critical? Just hit critical. Mm. How would you like to kill him? <laughs> a squim, baby. Uh, well, give me one <laughs> second. Uh, it's piercing damage, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm hobbling him? All right. Not that it matters, obviously, because he's instantly dying. But I run in. The first one... Hmm. I'm going to... Okay, both of my attacks are going for his Achilles. Or no, no, my first attack, I'm going to say, is the one that actually hobbled him. So I sliced his Achilles, like, right along his, you know, legs. And then as mm -hmm. he fell backwards, or fell forward from that, I just planted my sword in the ground and he fell on it. Oh, lovely. And he goes through him, lets out a, I hate this place. And he dies. The cultists are still alive. Yeah, I'm going to take a final attack on the cultists. Um, these guys are gonna die for their cause, so they're not running away easily. No! Um, <laughs> well, I critically out missed, away. I think. It doesn't matter, um, yeah. as long as it's not in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this cultist is gonna say, oh, I'm gonna kill you! Uh, plus two, because he's flanking. Uh, don't know if that's a rule, but it's a rule now. Well, it would be a 24 it anyway. Hits. Um... So that's a simple 10 damage against you. Yeah, that's fine. And then the other one is... Oh, wait, no. They hit three times. I'm doing D&D &D rules here where they hit very few times. That's a critical miss. Seven, that's a critical miss. And then 11 is also a critical miss. This guy's going to try stabbing Okay, wait. I can make a melee attack against the guy. Both. Okay, so that guy just critically missed against me twice. I can melee attack him. Okay. I have Make opportunity me... post. So I'm actually going to disarm. No, whatever. He's going to die against the enemies. Um, I'm going to melee attack him with my sword. Okay. That hits, for sure. All right. And let me see if it's listed as a reaction. It is, so I only get to do that once. So that it just hits. Okay. And it did four damage. Four damage. Get stabbed. Still standing. Ah, this is not my day. Um, this one, he tried, where was the guy? Yep, with a plus eight, and also critically missed. Um, but you can't do that, because of reactions. 20 doesn't hit either, does it? No. God, you have a high AC, don't you? Uh, 16, ah, oh, so sad. Ah! Then comes Colin. He saunters in, and he goes, I don't like any of you. Uh, Leon's dying. Yeah, no, I don't have uh, healing spells. It would have been handy, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would have been great. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Do you have a healer's kit? Uh, nope. Ah, but you know what I do have? He walks over to... Well, actually, they're all dying, aren't they? Yeah. Well, he, Leon is specific, or one of them is specifically on dying two. Which one is that? No, all of them. All of them, I swear. No, no, Sky is on dying one. Sky just went down Sky when Sky got in here. Dying two. 
Sky, so dying one is when they get down, dying two because she failed the saving throw. Oh, Sky okay. is I see, I see, yeah. Uh, but she's going to pour it onto, um, oh, he's got two, okay. Is dying four when you actually die, die? Yeah. Okay, I thought dying three was when you die, die, so I thought that, okay, yeah, I see. Uh, Orion, you go up by five hit points, you're no longer dying, he runs over to, um... There's still a cultist Leon. just like swinging at him. Leon. Hey, get yeah. Here. Um, Leon, you get, get three them. hit points and you aren't dying anymore. Uh, did so he have of healing? Yeah, he had two potions of healing, minor potions of healing. That was actually pure luck. I didn't plan that. Um, he just happened to have two minor potions of healing on him. Um, but that's going to be his turn because he just used it all Can healing. Either people. of you guys heal people? Yes. Okay. Uh, Orion, it is now your turn. You are you currently on the ground. You have two guns. Ah, I am seriously. Yes. He I can't get, uh, use his left hand, unfortunately, but he uh, can well, use one of With my right pistol, I shoot at the cultist close. Well, the cultist holding the woman. Okay, uh, make me an attack roll, please. Wow, yeah, that's a critical hit. Roll me some critical damage. Okay. <laughs> One shot goes through his neck, falls to the ground, dead. Okay, and then I would like to reload. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, I look at the other one, you're not getting away, and I shoot again. Okay, go ahead. If this actually kills him, that would be so baller. 15. 15 hits, just. Because of their frenzy. Um, eight, you let out a shot. It grazes his side, taking out a big chunk of flesh. He's not dead, but he is very low. I'm going um, to go over to uh, the woman and to see if she's alright. I believe you reloaded so you wouldn't have any actions left. Oh, okay, that's fine then. I'm fine then. Um, so, yeah. Sky, make me a death save, please. If there's a crit fail, does Sky die? Yep. All right. Let's hope that doesn't happen, huh? Oh, we're good. <laughs> Woo! So back down to dying one. Oh, it's like a toggle. Um, I forget about that. Then it actually reduces mm -hmm. the value rather than just being two independent values. That's better. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot that in D and D it's two independent values. Daniel, you'll go. I'm gonna stand up. Good idea. It does make oh, for cool. Like tiny. <laughs> There are two tiny people in here. <laughs> Why did Colin get so small? <laughs> He's been a gnome this whole time. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to at the other guy. Mm -hmm. How? How bad is he? Look? Close to death. Then I'm going to take one of the Daggers or something? Is there like a dagger or something? Dagger. Sure, why not? There's just a bath dagger on the ground. I'll cast Teleconnect Projectile and try to throw it into it. Next. Okay, go ahead. Roll me an attack roll, baby! What are you throwing this at? Go. The other cultist? Yeah. Oh my That's god. critical hit. Which I believe is Sheer. Sheer as hell. Now double that. Yup, okay. Ben. The. Dagger goes and just takes his head clean off. Um, and it falls onto the ground. Also dead. Sky's no longer dying. She's just unconscious as we're out of combat. And you guys all look around as you see. That's everything, really. There's a lot of blood. There's I a love, lot of blood. The, the blood modules are really good. Like, it's a good yeah. thing. Mm. So, as everything settles down, this the... Really wipes his sword off on the fur of this big fucker. I'll loot some people. Colin goes, Bloody hell, I was, uh... I really didn't do much there, did I? You heal also, those. remember, you can double-click the, the corpses to loot them. Oh. 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 As you guys go around looting. Nothing. Um, 
This dude has armor and... Oh, uh... Oh, <laughs> I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. Greg, I go over to the demon. Mm-hmm. And with my longsword, can I try to cut his head off? Yeah, I'd say, uh, just roll me a... Nature. Mm. You could just cut it off. Um, it takes you a little bit of time, but you managed to cut it off. Sorry, I was just looking... What do you looking... intend to do with this thing? You'll see. It's a pretty fat head. It's a pretty big head. I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna be asking some... Um, some quit um, for some rolls later on. <laughs> um, Colin squats down over the creature as you're chopping off its head and sort of takes off some of the blood and licks it. This is interesting. Yeah, so. Does it taste good? I, I, like, I don't like the blood. <laughs> no, not good at all. Ah. Tastes like death. I could be wrong, but I think these guys are with the cult. Yes, and luckily, we know what the cult worships now. Daemons. Oh. Not demons, daemons. They are, um... Not Matt. <laughs> um... They're sort of the ultimate evil, while demons embody chaos, devils embody lawful evil governments for the most part, am I right? Oh, push. Uh, yeah, but demons, they only care about death. They serve the four horsemen of the apocalypse and wish to bring about the apocalypse, and it's troubling that there's a cult forming around them here in Kaltrop. This is, uh, Susta Damon, if I remember correctly. I would like it's... to have a Susta Damon pelt jacket, so just for future reference. Um, <laughs> you could skin the Susta Damon. I'm currently skinning it. I'm currently skinning yeah, yeah. it. Actually, I'm having Skya skin. I think her nature is like a lot better. I would like to chop off some of its nail, like its fingers. Make uh, make some acrylic nails. Uh, start a salon Gets with its nails. Um, you can do that, yes. You can all chop off whatever you'd like. There's no rolls needed. You're just chopping up this thing. Um, after a while, the guard come in and sort of lock down the investigation area. You guys take your spoils. Um, and you see among the guards a man. Um, a half-elf like you, Squim. Um, wearing not the guard's uniform, but a more sort of posh-looking, is the best word to say, a more clean-looking uh, garb, a religious garb that some of you might recognize as the garb of the Gal Galric Order. Um, what he's doing in the Markovian territory, who knows? But he uh, goes over to you guys as you've just finished hacking this creature to pieces and says... Are you the people that destroy this? We yeah. are. Sure are. I'm Templar Richter Mactorian of the Galric Order. I am uh, very impressed. Thanks. Say, you're not interested in some monster hunting, are you? I personally yeah, am. Fucking yeah. Where is this from? And yes. Uh, where is this music from? Yeah, I recognize it. It's all it it's all like the Oblivion album. soundtrack, but it is free music, I think. Yeah, it's it's not. It's this just is, this is playing in a specific game though. I don't it's think like... it does. It's just made by some guy that put his music up onto Foundry to be able to use for free, so I don't think it's playing in Oblivion. Or sorry, not Oblivion, whatever game you were talking about. Well, uh, listen. If you cross the bridge, say Templar Mactorian called you, I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm headquartered on the other side of the town. How does that sound? 
Definitely. Fine with me. And I'm sure well, we'd love some help with the troubles in the town in general, but I won't hold you for now. Okay? <sighs> long day, long day. Wait, where do we meet you, sir? Across the bridge. Say that Richter Mactorian called for you and they'll bring you to Which me. Bridge? The bridge across the town, you know, the part that's the oh. Galric Old Roads on the other side of the bridge, where that's who I represent, all that, etc. Alright, well, see you later. As the <laughs> the rest of the guard, uh, well, he's not a guard member, he's specifically Galric Order, but the guards sort of start cleaning up the scene, um, locking it down. At this point, it's going late into the evening, and you can all head back to the tavern. Um, unless there's anything else you'd like to do before the day is over. I'm good. Okay. Oh. Well, well, actually, I do want to, if there's I, anyone open that would be able to make this pelt into a jacket, I want to get it made into a jacket. As soon as I'll, possible. I'll fall, I want to follow as Gwen on this. Okay. Um, the general store might be able to help you. It's really Perfect. the place that you can help. Out. Um, so entering into the general store, uh, or, uh, Leon, do you tag along, or are you just going yeah. straight to the town? Okay. Um, the... One second. The shop is a, a sort of... It's relatively big, but it's really cramped because there is just piles of knickknacks and things, fishing tackles, pots and pans, hunting equipment, food, just everything like thrown around on densely packed shelves. As you sort of navigate the labyrinth, you finally manage to find the um, cashier's desk, I guess, um, where a halfling, a slightly familiar looking, um, sits behind it, uh, currently knitting uh, what appears brain? to be a. How big is her brain? Pretty. <laughs> her brain's, uh, you know. You can't quite tell. All right. You can't quite tell through her head. Um, she is, you assume, the Bertha's daughter. Um, who she was talking about, who owns the general store. Mm -hmm. um, she looks up and so says, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, how, how can I help you? W welcome to my shop. My shop. My shop. Thank you. I have a pelt of an undisclosed creature. Would you be able to make it into a jacket like under this one? And I show uh, my, you know, feather jacket. Do you want feathers on it? No, no, just like, just like size-wise, like this type, like this style of jacket, but out of this pelt. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'm quite adept at that, actually. Um, if you just, I would need your jacket for measurements and all that. Uh, How about, could you use this one for measurements? And I pull the black feathered one out of my bag, the one I took from him. Technically, he's not the same size as you, but you can try. Oh, this try. jacket isn't for me. I'm giving him his new superhero identity, his new vigilante identity. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, sure, if that's the size you want. Uh, if I could... Oh, I don't want to charge too much, but... Oh, the, uh, th three gold, is that okay? I hand her four. Oh, bloody hell! I was actually thinking you could hand me half in the beginning, half at the end, but thank you so much, thank you. How do I change the amount? Oh, it's up here. You would know that three gold for something like that is a pretty, it's like, a, a lot, custom made yeah. jacket. It's, it, no, it's pretty low, actually. Oh, um, oh she was being chill. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, you'd probably, for even more novice work, it would, you'd be looking at five gold pieces. Cause... Right, I'll give her four more when I come back for it, then. Okay. Um... And once yeah. um, Squim's done, I like to go up to the counter. Hi. Welcome. Ah, I was wondering if you could make a mask. Uh, and I plop the head onto the counter. Boom. 
Different creatures, give me, I swear. Uh, give, me, give me three gold and I won't ask anything and I'll do it, sure. Yep, three gold. Three four gold. gold. I can have four, four gold, gold right fantastic. now. Okay, and she like sort of pushes it off the table and wipes her hand on her trousers. Oh, fantastic. I... Okay, anything else? Uh, she puts on a strange have... smile. Do you have any um, pistols? Pistons? Pistols. Oh. Uh, what now? Uh, I put up my. Uh, you Jesus. probably won't have it. Uh, I put, I put it back in. Um, any healing potions? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I'm not an alchemist. Um, you might be better off, uh, meeting my, uh, friend. Oh, I've made so many names. Pent for a greater supply, but I have three smaller healing potions lying around. How much? Uh... Four gold each, please. How about me? Okay, six, okay. Uh, and I... once again, Pent can help you out with some larger level potions. He's a very talented alchemist. He works yeah. uh, by with the Margrave, if you're interested. Um, so, what are they, four minor? Three minor, so uh, that's minor. 12 gold pieces. Oh, okay. Uh, give the coin. Okay. Um, anything else, anyone? I'm gonna put the claws on the table. So what can you make? Can you make a <laughs> necklace? Are these all the same creature? No comment. Listen, I can. Yeah, I mean, necklaces are quite easy. You could probably make one yourself. Just drill some holes, put a piece of string through it. I'll do it for you for like. For silver. Yeah, sure. Oh, perfect. I should need to get rid of that. Fantastic. And she takes the silver, puts it down with the rest of the da daemon. Okay. Is that anything else? Do you have... Oh, look at that. It's closing time. Oh, I'm so sorry. Getting good very... care of the head. <laughs> What's that, sorry? All right, fantastic. Um, please leave. Well, I'm very glad for your patronage, but that's, I need to get home to me ma, you know, all oh, that. Um, bear, bear, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Do not tell me, Bertha. Yep, thank you. For, yep, that's my mum, all right. She's very nice. That's what they say, but, you know, yeah. What do you mean, you know? I mean, people tend to value her more for her assets than actually looking past them for her personality, is what I mean. So, not sure if people I mean, She owns a very successful tavern, so... Oh yeah, that doesn't make you nice. Makes you successful. Have you noticed something weird with her? <laughs> just, just as an antenna She's Would you my call mother. This a back and forth conversation. <laughs> She's my mother. I please. I yeah, do not want to like, be part of your detective. At weird times. Nope. Now please. Are you sure? I have to have close up shop. Weird times. <sighs> I'm leaving. Okay, Spoon's just... gone because he doesn't. Yeah, want I grab. I spin. grab Leon and we're leaving. No, I'm not. I'm leaving well before you. I'm not leaving with you guys. I'm. I'm going the other way. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm grabbing Leon and I'm taking him out the door. Let's go. It's time to be. It. Let's go. Well, My patience side. is a deep ocean, but I'm afraid it's we at its last drop. You. We can help. I'm you. grabbing. Help with Leon. Can help. We can him. help you. It's, you Come back tomorrow. Bit. Leon, you need some sleep. <laughs> drink. Let's go. As you're all pulled out, you're settled into the tavern. You have some 
if you'd like some evening food, um, plus the chicken, actually, I didn't charge you for the chicken, I'd say overall, for all the food, it would be a gold piece, so one of you can pay for it if you'd like. Um, well, I mean, one of you has to pay for it, unless you're stealing, but uh, you guys can decide who does that, but otherwise, you will head up to your rooms. Is there anything in the last moments anyone would like to do? Squim. Say hello to Colin. Hi. Hello. Uh, Squim. No, no, no. That doesn't have to happen now. We're good. I'm, I'm good. Well, uh, well, well I think you know anyway, just even if it's for next session. I was just gonna ask <laughs> Leon about the face monster thing with the mask and all that, if he knew anything about mm -hmm. that. I mean, you can do that if you'd like. We still technically have 10 minutes until 11, so... Hey, Leon, do you know anything about that? Hey, DM, do I know anything about that? Um... 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 Bum, bum, bum. Make me a DC 30 recall knowledge check. Easy. Which... Whichever one you like. Right. No, it would either be occultism or society. Society. Not so basically, you can only succeed if you roll a 20, which you unfortunately oh. didn't. Um, no, you don't know anything about this mask guy. Wait, what happened specifically? Squint me, boy. Squim? Um, we don't need to worry about it. It's actually not our problem. I sound like it. I had it distinctly explained to me that it's actually, if we know about it, we'll die. So, and they see everything. So. <laughs> and they see everything. Maybe we watch out for that. Yeah. It was well, just worth checking. I probably want to ask Colin about that. I didn't tell it to you. You guessed. I'm a I'm really good guesser. You, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> Guess all okay, those Colin, details. I'm getting the feeling that you have a demon living in you, maybe, in the mirror? And it has a mask. Do you know anything about that? Are you asking, Colin? No, no, no. this is, this is, <laughs> okay. a, this is the, the, the plan. This is your plan to convince well, you Well, it can be your guys' pillow talk as, um... Perfect. You oh, can yeah. That's true, right. we are the ones sharing a room, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, so as you guys whisper sweet nothings to each other, the night closes, and we fade to black. But before we completely fade to black, well, we are fading to black, um, you can take a long rest. However, before we actually go, I would like to ask, because it's a bit more open-ended now, it's, you know, there's not a technical clear goal, I'd like to ask you guys what you'd like to do next session so I know what to prepare, because that's always handy. Um, and then there's, you know, the expectation that you guys don't just decide at the beginning of the session, actually, we're gonna go kill the king, you know? Um, so is there anything you guys would like to do next session? I... And it doesn't have to be done next session, it's just to know what I prepare. Yeah, I mean, for one, I'm gonna leave him hit that, you know, thing that I just got him, the jacket. Mm -hmm. And then also, I think we probably, do we want a monster hunt? Do we want to deal with the cult? I think we probably want to deal more with the cult right now, probably. Mm. I guess monster hunting is also dealing with the cult. Like that's also what their mission is going to be. So mm. ultimately, my goal is to create a whole system of you know vigilantes in this town to sort of keep the town safe. But in the meantime, probably we need to help somebody. Uh, do we want that to be Colin or do we want that to be the order? I would like to help Colin, though yeah, that's just a... me. Yeah, that's fair. I figure we help Colin. That makes more sense. I'm not wanting to help the religious extremists. Even if they are on our side, I'd rather they be on our side elsewhere, you know, and we be on our own side for a bit. <laughs> like, I'm not, like, itching to assist them, you know? Yeah. Unless we, like, get in a real emergency, then maybe. Hmm. So I think we're gonna yeah. go to Colin and ask him what he needs. That's sort of 
this one? I think. Yeah, we need to. yeah, we're just gonna go to Colin and figure out what he needs and stuff. So he'll All presumably right. give us a little mission or whatever. We'll see. I'm gonna mm -hmm. give him the jacket as soon as it's ready, and then he, me, and him are gonna be like a cool vigilante duo. Mm -hmm. yeah. The feathered vigilante and the feathered menace. Well, he's called something else now. He's called the. Uh, what was that the thing? Day. Well, what was the, the what was the daemon called specifically? It was like a it was the Susto daemon. Susto daemon. Um, mm -hmm. The Susto. I think they might have another name. Uh, let me look it up. I can't even Google that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, there's not really another name for them apart yeah. from Susto Damon. Then he's the Susto Damon. That's his like vigilante name. Ooh. Hopefully, we'll see. I'll ask him. I'll see how he feels if that's insensitive or not. Uh, <laughs> it'll be something cool. There's um, I found some cool artwork of some Susto Damon, and then I'm putting it into announcements. Hopefully, it's the right thing. Wait, I think that might be the wrong thing. I think I might might have just accidentally put porn into the announcements. No, not porn. No, I hate porn. All right, gang. Well, thanks for coming to today's session of the Wacko Faction. That was yeah, one of the longest. Seven minutes we've had long. So That's like our second longest session ever, I think. Yeah, what was our longest? We had one really long we one. We had just a everyone... like late Wacko Faction season one session that went really, really long. And I think that's mm. probably it. And then they got short for a while. And then they got really long mm. again. But not this long. Mm. Three this hours is, is the long time. one. This is the long one. That's what the title of the episode is going to be when I edit it. Which will never happen. This is the long but... one. It will never happen. But you should... Hayden, I need you to upload this VOD, okay? Name it something funny, but not like, you know, Mimi. Need something witty, but not like, you know... Like, God, that's terrifying. Um, <laughs> need something good, okay? Right, need something yeah, good. I'm on it. Don't even worry about it. I'm thinking already. Okay. I'm brainstorming, and I probably will edit it a little bit just to trim out like and this part. For yeah, uh, maybe uh, normalizing the peaks might be nice. You know, so there's I'll not just it. random part. I'm screaming. Um, for the most part, it does it for that. Does that for me, anyways? I think, but genius. Um, like it can only uh, go up to a certain mm -hmm. volume before it just like flattens it all. And make sure it's, like, you make... Uh, it's a reboot, okay? So you need to put that somewhere in the title or the I'll description. I'll probably make a little intro of me talking. Then I'll throw on the phone. Yeah, okay. It'll be like, alright, we didn't upload well enough. We're kind of going to this demon hunting storyline, so we're throwing it this way. Mm -hmm, okay. I'm gonna keep it as, like, its own thing. That's all. Alright. Uh, I'm ending the stream. Right. I mean, I'm still streaming, to be honest with you. This part shouldn't have been on it. But no, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. Oh, all of you.